This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Loot Crate. Loot Crate is a monthly mystery crate that delivers the best in geek and gaming gear. Collectibles, apparel, tech gadgets, and other epic gear. It's like Comic-Con in a box. Basically, it's the cost of a t-shirt for a little box full of awesome stuff, which includes a t-shirt. So you guys have already seen us wear some of the gear from Loot Crate on the podcast or you know, on the videos and stuff. And you know, I've been subscribing for a while. So it's, it's pretty awesome, and now we have a cool thing where you can we can save you some money by getting Loot Crate. So if you go to trylootcrate.com forward slash be then BTI and enter the promo code BRIDGE10, as in a bridge that you walk over and then the number 10, 1, 0, then uh, you will save 10% on your subscription. Once again, it's uh, trylootcrate.com forward slash be then BTI, enter the promo code BRIDGE10, and you will have a 10% savings on your subscription. Captain, we're receiving a transmission. What is its point of origin? It's emanating from the dankest spot in the universe. But that could only be... The Infinity Base! Blacker than black times infinity is back! Oh my. <laughs> hey, this is Matt. Joe. And Becky. Host of pre-recorded live from the Mistake on the Lake, and you are listening to Blacker than black times infinity. There is a story. Searching the galaxy for alien robot lions all night. If you up, smash that like button. Welcome to Black and the Black Times Infinity. I'm your host, Cthulhu's Project, coming to you live and direct from the stack. Smoke me out, fam, with that dead shit on my left. Your boy Blue. I like my ladies like I like my mustard. Yellow, spicy, and on my wiener. Oh, that was foul. And dang, I love it. On my far right engineer, on the one to choose, chuck people out on the twos and fours, three to fours, Kronos. I had to remember too much shit for this intro, so that's it. Damn! Alright! <laughs> <laughs> on my immediate right, returning once again, the oldest ninja in the motherfucking world, old ninja. I have female acquaintances in the city formerly known as Terminus. Oh! Panda, panda, panda. <laughs> on my far left, returning once a motherfucking again, it is Stitch. All hell, King, the true King. King Joffrey Baratheon. Oh! Best King Westeros has ever known. Oh! <laughs> to begin with. God damn. Well, gentlemen, we got guests, though. We got guests. Rolling. Damn, that was dang. We have Toast Maybe. and Task from Super Suit Show. What's up, fam? How y'all? Can well, doing very well. Greetings and salutations. Very Here's nice. To help. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, greetings and salutations. Proper greetings, man. Proper yeah, I know. Yeah. Look awesome. at y'all all formal and shit. Did you, did you bring gifts? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm mad that I don't have like a special intro like you guys do. Like, <laughs> That's all right. We need tributes. I, w- I was actually going to start it Country off by saying y'all were the originators of uh, Asians or name or so Asian or something like that, right? It's true. Asian yeah. name more. There yes. you go. Gotcha. That is uh, this man right here uh task one he i i saw with my own eyes it was <laughs> a twitter that. post you he said that. i want namor to be asian yes and it trended there you go and it makes sense it does we've <laughs> talked about it a couple times on yeah here. uh why don't we uh, start off for those who aren't familiar with super suit show um tell us a little bit about your geek credentials and uh you know what got you into some of the the, the geeky stuff with comic books and games etc uh real quick would you like to go first? Good Man, you gonna make me go first? All right, fine. Through it. <coughs> Greetings, all. Uh, my name is Task One. Uh, I, uh, I I've been reading comics. 30 plus years um 30 yeah man i i'm i'm og in the game man Damn. i used to run a comic book shop Ooh. that's where i met this guy how long ago was that that was roughly 13 years or so ago no, possibly ever. more man <laughs> black people ain't friends with each other for that long man we packed the cousins now <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. yeah. see you at the reunion <laughs> y'all fam be fam now but um yeah man um I don't know. Like, I've just been in the comics since I was pretty much three years old. Um, my dad, who, bless his heart, didn't know how to watch kids, would just buy comic books and leave them in my room and lock me in there. <laughs> that, that's not that bad. <laughs> Parenting 101. Yeah. Parenting 101. And he would just be like, all right, I'm, I'm out to go smash some chicks. Nah. And read just X-Men. Pop one of Rolling Stone. Get them menthols. Yeah. Then yeah, I, yeah, I knew yeah, it. Yeah, it, it, it worked my fragile little mind. And uh, <laughs> I've been here ever since. Mm. Um, 
yeah, I pretty much my uh, grandma came over one day with a box, and uh, she had some issues of Fantastic Four were the first time uh, they fought Galactus in it, and I just thought it was amazing. Um, I'm still tied to the cosmic stuff now, yeah, and yes. from that point, I mean, as a little kid, you know, I mean, I wasn't, but like, you know, three, four years old, um, I've just been interested in comics. We had a comic book store down the street, and I lived in uh, San Francisco, California. Nice. Uh, still in Northern California, uh, most of my life. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, yeah, ever since then, I've just read comics. I try to read all genres, third party, Marvel, DC, Image, doesn't really matter. It's all, a good story is a good story. There you yeah, go. it seems like we're more Marvel dudes. Uh, Especially this guy. Oh, yeah, oh, I've seen that online. Man for DC. Oh, come on. I got to give them a little bit of love. It's hard, thing, man. It's hard. Come on, man. <laughs> look here, look here, look here, look here. See what had happened was. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> I was the Marvel Nazi. You used to call me the Marvel Nazi <laughs> growing up. I didn't fuck with any DC at all. And then I started getting into DC, started really liking their stuff. Uh, Grant Boyce and JLA's. Um, the Jeff Johns Flashes. JSA, Batgirl, Robin, um, Batman, that all was my shit. And then nice. New 52 happened, and I just hate everything about it. Damn, <laughs> all of New 52, huh? All right. Well, they resetted everything. Everything that I grew up to love about DC, they say, yeah, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> they did. They did. Yeah, they did. They did. And that's why I was just like, uh, this is bullshit. And so I'm just... I, I'm hard on DC because I want them to be better. That's all. Well, let me really quickly (laughs) say that with DC, I started reading with New 52. So that's always going to be something that I like enjoy for the most part, even though it wasn't perfect. But I'm trying to actively go back and read some some of the older stuff. But you know, and that's I think that New 52 is still a good jumping on point, and that's one of the things that DC did well with the event. Yeah, was they gave people who might not have been into the lore that, you know, we grew up with, you know, going back Golden Age, Silver Age, you know, Bronze Age, Heroic Age, and and such. It gave them a good jumping on point where they did reset the characters. You got to know them all individually. And, you know, I think, you know, they didn't do a bad job, but it did hurt, you know, us classic fans a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Good shit. Good how do you shit. how do you feel about the? Have you guys been uh, reading the Rebirth yet? Yes, I have. Yeah. What do you think about yeah. that so far? I mean, it's only like one issue into it, but so one far. by one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they pulled a slick move on everyone. I'm like, I said it on our podcast. I said, did DC really just release two number ones in one month? It was like Chronos was mentioned. Yeah, I fucking hated that shit. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Like, wait, they did a Rebirth and then an issue number one. Yeah. Rebirth. Yeah. <laughs> I would have yeah. Rebirth. Remember, it was Rebirth D, or Rebirth Superman, uh-huh. Superman Rebirth. Yeah. yeah exactly. I would have been fine with a... I don't know if I noticed. I would have been fine with an issue number zero and then an issue number one. That's that would have been okay. Like. Yeah. Because if you think about it while they were great, I tell people, what exactly happened in the Rebirth? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, you got Watchmen coming in, but yeah. Or do. the hint of Watchmen. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Watchmen's coming back. Um, you heard it here first on Black and in the Black Infinite. What we talked about yeah. on the podcast, too, but um, it's going to be... The Dr. Manhattan. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Dr. Manhattan is pulling the strings and, you know, you have a possible comedian in the city, maybe as a Joker. Yeah, we think one of the Jokers is, is One of the comedian. three Jokers yeah, is going to be the comedian. That's one of the reasons why one of the Jokers always seems to be able to fight against Batman. Mm. Mm. You know? That's and, you know, I think that they can kind of give good reasoning. And that would give the position of Dr. Manhattan replacing possibly some one of his own guys. And I'm saying this here, and I think I said it once before, I believe Roy Stotch is going to be the new question, and they're going to find a way to bring Which him back and integrate him. Because Roy Stark, and this is for those who don't know, the Watchmen are really um, the Times Warner characters before DC picked them up. Roy Stark was questioned. Dr. Manhattan was Captain Adam. Comedian was Peacekeeper, or Peacemaker. I think it was Peacemaker. Um, the owl, uh, Night Owl? Night Owl was Blue Beetle. Oh, okay. Yeah. And... Um, 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 Ozzy Mendias was, uh, uh, I 
forgot who he was supposed to be, but Green. Oh no, he was Manhunter. Okay, uh, okay. Not Martian Manhunter, but Manhunter. There's a guy named just Manhunter in okay. a DC universe, and he's just this guy that's really good at fighting. And um, yeah, so um, they were already time one of characters too, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna dive into that as well. When you say good at, at fighting, you're talking about as good as Taskmaster. Because I heard somebody was a a big uh, Taskmaster master fan who even init or uh, was implying that he could beat Deathstroke. So fuck yeah. No. Hey, you know what? I'm fake. biased. I'm not gonna lie. I you am are. biased <laughs> as shit about it because Taskmaster is my dude. I want him to be done right too. I, I, he he should be a powerful Marvel villain, but I mean he was the, the first villain in existence that was like single-handedly taking out whole teams. Mm -hmm. Like before Deathstroke was doing it, Task was doing it. And then throughout the years, he's kind of become a Deadpool sidekick. And I'm like, how did this happen? Yeah, I saw. I don't know if you, if yes. you read uh, X twenty three. She like fucked him up like easily. I was like, what? Easily? I, are we talking about it on podcast? I was yeah. like, what the fuck was that? Like, mm-hmm. what is, see, I'm getting all upset, just flustered, thinking about it. Like, ah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I broke it down as reasonably to as as I could. You know, as a stat person, I am myself. When I go through verse battles, if you have strength, speed, agility, she got no strength. She does have strength. No, the hell, she doesn't. She got no damn strength. When does Wolverine have strength? Anyway, she got durability. <laughs> Got fighting skills on. <laughs> That's Cash it. Master like you got one category. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Okay, shit. Wolverine. You, you are biased though. Wolverine, <laughs> <laughs> a couple times. She's never fucked up Wolverine. The first time she met, she pinned his ass on the ground. He's like, I wasn't trying to fight you. Of course not. He ain't gonna stop her. That sounds sexual, though. Uh, yeah, but that, that's his clone, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, would I be considered like, masturbation, like, then? Well, he probably was his daughter at so first, didn't yeah. yeah. But no, if he, if he fought uh, X-23, about... like, wouldn't that be considered masturbation? If he had sex with her? Oh, that'd be weird. Uh, these are the oh, important yeah. questions. Yeah. But there's a whole other chromosome there, so... Yeah. Now you got me thinking. Like, if you fuck your clone... Is that masturbation? I mean, technically, I'd say that's uh, gay. Fuck, fuck, you know? <laughs> I mean, technically, you're fucking yourself. So this is true. Exactly. Uh, These are the real questions. But, but if, you suck, <laughs> if you suck your own dick, that's also weird too. I mean, that's yeah, that's weird. Yeah, but if I could do it, would I do it? I oh know. man, we we went to some dark places. Let's go back to Namor. Yeah, right? yeah no shit. <laughs> Namor. So, um, you're who now? Who's the bigger fan of like Namor? You are uh, the champion. All right, all right. So obviously, a huge history. You, what do you think about uh, him versus uh, T'Challa, like in New Avengers and Secret Wars as well? Because we're hu- we're huge fans of that. Oh man, um, because I could see that being the next Civil War okay. potentially. I, you know, I'm a Namor fan, but I'm not gonna have to go with my dude T'Challa. There you and go. simply because Namor's a hothead, yo. Like. <laughs> Namor don't be thinking right, that's true. right, and that's just how it's a part of his character. He he's a hothead. He he's the guy that's hopping into action. He there's a reason why Cap never wanted him on the Avengers. I'm like ah, he's like I can't control Namor. <laughs> like well I'm trying to find out what the problem is. Namor is trying to punch everything. Like, yeah. Hey, hey, hey wait, what wait. the problem is? <laughs> like Namor is the Trey Songs of the Marvel Universe. Oh, like, wow. Here we go. He is Mr. Yeah. Steal Your Girl. Like, yeah. Uh, history of Namor. Namor is just fucking. Everybody's chick, every <laughs> single one of them. He stole an invisible woman. He stole an Emma Frost, and I'm pretty sure there's more I can't think of at the moment. But that's just what if, he does. If you blonde, yeah, he's gonna <laughs> steal you. That's what he does. You're gonna be like, hey, look, we have the whole surface world for you. You can have it all. He'd be like, nah, give me those six blondes over there, yeah, and I'll look, be all alone. I've yes. often wondered, Emma, what that mouth do. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> she is bad. I'm just saying. Hey, so. she stole psych. Clops from him from the day she died. They kissed over her grave. Damn, that is <laughs> fucked up. That is fucked up as hell. Scott was dirty, man. You yeah. did my boy Scott wrong. You knew she was gonna die too. She died like eight other times, man. Yeah. You knew this was coming. So yes, wait, it's true. Wait, what? Are, what are y'all reading right now, though? And, and loving. Everything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, we 
it's uh, pretty much pretty much everything Marvel and DC that's uh, current and it's some image uh, a little dabs of image, image. Um, cool. Invincible I'm a huge Invincible yeah, fan same. myself uh, I love the entire series I recommend it to anybody who just wants to get into a comic mm-hmm. um, it's an image comic name okay. of it is Invincible follow it love it um, yeah, have to other third party books that I can pick up Power Rangers Blue Power Rangers is surprisingly good hmm. but I've learned you gotta be from that era to get it okay so is it like my, old school Power Rangers yeah. like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers it's like yeah. the original five it's the like original Billy, team Zach, yeah. oh, okay. Trini, it's them yeah and that's an image yeah. or who's publishing yeah, that yeah with Tommy Ooh. as the Green Ranger oh, okay. just showing up so oh, okay. oh shit that's cool it, they gave a nice reboot but it has that like like, he, like Tass said if you're a fan of the original though that's one of the you know things I grew up with you know when I was younger I mean it's, it feels like home. Yeah. So what do y'all think about the uh, upcoming Power Rangers movie and the casting? Um, I don't know. I'm I'm open to it. It's been so long since I've watched Power Rangers. I didn't get into like Zeo Force trilogy, Cosmic Galactic, Supernova, Galactor. <laughs> yeah. Series. I don't even know what it's all about. <laughs> I mean, it looks good. Um, I know a lot of people are upset about you know um, Elizabeth Banks as Rita Repulsa. Mm-hmm. I don't know the images that they've shown. She looks pretty fucking cool. Yeah, I mean she Nightmare. does, but a lot of people were saying, "Oh, well, the woman wet dreams. <laughs> who originally played her, she was Filipino, and yeah. she didn't even speak English." But she could act really, really well. So people were wishing they kept the Filipino on there. Um, <clears throat> I can understand that. I kind of wish that they would have just had to be a new character. Like the original Power Rangers movie, they did uh, Ivan Ooze. Yeah. 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 Apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's, let's rewind for a second here. Like uh, the part about uh, Rita Repulsa being Filipino. Like I can understand if like her being Asian has something to do with the role. But it yeah. really didn't. She was just a Like a let's villain. keep it real. It really didn't. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah. They did it. Like, let's keep it real. Like, I'm like, dude, she's a alien warlord. She could be any race. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I understand, you know, people can be sensitive about things like that. So I kind of wish they would have just done something different. Like they did with the original movie. Like they did Ivan Ooze yeah, or I, Apocalypse. Yeah, but no, they, they, yeah. they yeah, still, they still have the same characters, second. though. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Rhea yeah, and like, like, Ward's exactly. odd. They, they asked uh, Ivan Ooze for help against the Rangers. And then he did. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, now it's piecing together. I remember that, actually. So, like, I'm looking at the cast list for the Power Ranger movie. And it looks like it's going to be like the original cast names, like Jason, Trina, uh, Trini, yeah, Billy, Kim, Zach. So it's, it's going back. the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're all green. They're going supposed back to be to the like the first storyline. Like, I yeah. believe it's supposed to be them getting together and then them fighting the first threat and forming the uh, Zord and all that good stuff. Yeah. And then they got Brian Cranston to be Zordon. That's kind of cool. Yeah. He's going to do that and sell crack on the side. Yeah. 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 <laughs> While taking care of his kids. Yeah, yeah. he's like, hey, kids, why don't you Mighty Morph with these? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the kind of candy you smoke from a pipe. Yeah. Ah, you really don't want to because Brian <laughs> Cranston. Sorry, the way that flew. Th- this is, I'm about to drop some really nerdy shit on y'all. Brian okay. Cranston was one of the monsters in the original Power Rangers. Oh, oh shit. shit, I know. Oh, That's kind of cool. Yeah. Wow. That's why he he went for the role again. People are thinking it's such a weird world. Like, really? Like, why exactly. would he want to be yeah, in Power he's... Rangers? That's where he got his first, one of his big breaks. Exactly. <laughs> this guy just came off of an Academy Award nominated uh, movie. And then he ends up doing Power Rangers. That's good shit. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Hey, man, money's money, man. There you yes. go. Yeah. yeah. Hey, let's Especially start. something that's a franchise. You know, everyone's trying to do franchises nowadays. So oh, yeah. everyone's just trying to get in where they fit in. Yeah. It, yeah. And if uh, anybody wants to cast me in uh, uh, Fast and Furious <laughs> Seven or Eight or whatever, just you know, hit, hit us up. You know. Well, I, mean? I thought you guys were all in the Spider-Man movie. I mean, that's the yeah, no uh, shit. Yeah. Movie yeah. All time. yeah, that is black as fuck. You know. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're going. Black, it's just actually they'll just film you. They'll come to your house and just film you. <laughs> This is what they're doing, and people are complaining about shit, so they're trying to change it in the wrong direction. It's like, you, you don't, don't even really know what the direction is. People yeah, like, yeah. Like you, like, don't even, you don't know what it's about. You can't well, make everybody happy. Yeah, well, people just. Very true. They want to pretend that we're not 13% of the fucking population. It's yeah, like, there's not that many of us, so when you yeah. put all of us in a movie, we're not, hey, hey, it's kind of hey, fucking weird. We're not, yeah. Yeah. We're not 96%? This isn't Wakanda? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all no, here's the thing. He's not just in New York, he's in Queens. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Y'all been to Queens? Yes. Queens is kind of hood, yo. Queens is like 
ain't the little <laughs> ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of ethnic. It ain't the same Queens from when he was first created. Like no. it's yeah. we've seen coming to America. Coming to I was about to say coming to America dropped today, like in nineteen eighty eight. Yeah. Well I think they got another another origin story, which I don't want to fucking see. Like I, I hope not, because yeah. in all honesty, they don't need to do it. They've already introduced them. Like Twice. he's already introduced Twice. my my grandmother <laughs> has never read a comic book in her life and she knows Spider Man's origin. Yep. Yeah. It's like you don't need to do it. Just yep. keep going. Yeah, you just start you just start at a Tuesday, maybe three o'clock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Show him get out of school, just fighting crime and shit. No, not Jack. him get out of school. He, he's got to be make him a fucking grown up. I mean, why is he yeah. still in school? Uh, he's in high school, bro. Well, yeah. He's got to go to college because remember, he's a freelance photographer, so he'll yeah. be flying. No, he'll be trying to get to class at whatever university he's in. I mean, the kid's a little young, so in Aunt May, you know, I think um, Melissa Tomei's got some years on, so they might do Young Spider Man, kind because of, it is Disney. Yeah, 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 yeah it, it is so, Disney. Sixteen to seventeen year old. I hope they fast forward it one year. He's a senior in high school, going through his last little year. He's taking off the glasses because he's Spider Man, homecoming dance, little threats at school, some crazy people, throw some villains in there, and just, you know, kickstart it. I just want, well, you can't, you can't okay. say it's just Disney, it's Disney, though, because they did Deadpool. I mean, so. No, Fox did Deadpool. No, Fox did Deadpool. Uh, but, it's yeah. Mar- but Marvel is owned by Marvel Disney. doesn't own Deadpool's rights. Oh, okay. Fox yeah, that's yeah, it's still owned by Fox. But they can still yeah. do some, some more grown up shit. I mean, it's not like they're going to make him, th- he's not going to be out in the back fucking bitches. <laughs> Yeah, just make it a little older. It seems like Marvel's kick ass. Right now is they're throwing these uh, Netflix. Everything that they throw at Netflix is going to be your R-rated. Yeah, which yeah. makes sense. Violent stuff. Which makes perfect sense because they're using the more grittier characters like Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Punisher, Punisher Iron yeah. Fist. I'm hearing they're bringing back Blade. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. that would be awesome. Yeah, um, I'm hearing there's talks about a Blade series coming because Wesley Snipes has said, "Hey, I'm down to do it." I mean, he ain't doing. Shit trying to pay that tax <laughs> evasion yeah. uh, before he goes I back got to money Africa. to pay, man. I heard it was going to be a daughter. <laughs> it might be. There's all kinds of stuff, but nothing's been concrete yet. Yeah. But I'm excited. I'm, I'm hoping they do. Uh, hey, real quick, we had a question, uh, of course, from our boy Kevin from Comic Noobs, directed uh, at Task, and I'm trying to pull that up right now, and it was basically, uh, what are you seeing online, Task, that is uh, causing your nerd Rage right now, or or the uh, the most controversial thing in the in the geek kingdom right now. The most controversial thing right now is people are putting pineapple on a pizza. Ooh, what, what the fuck? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Dude, that's fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> pineapple does not belong on a pizza. Oh, no Hawaiian yeah, pizza. Does. That Mount Zowie though. A pineapple is technically a vegetable. What? Wait, what? No, it's, it's a root. No, it grows, vegetables it grow out of the ground. And pineapples, pineapples grow on trees. Grow on, no. yeah. Pineapples are grow on trees. <laughs> 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 On trees, they grow <laughs> on the ground. They grow on the ground. Oh, they, 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 they don't pull it from the. They have you seeds like though. Pineapple on a pizza. Pineapple uh, is the lit Hawaiian. Oh shit, Hawaiian we're about to go into this. Uh, fucking Stop. civil war. <laughs> it's the movement. Okay. It's the movement. Grace. Fruits, the fruits movement. have seeds. On a the movement stopped. The movement moved <laughs> like molasses on the hill. It doesn't stop. Like grapes, you can make. So yeah, so then that's tomatoes. Tomato is a fruit. Strawberry. Yeah, it is a fruit. Corn is technically a fruit. No, it's a grain. Anyway. God damn. <laughs> let me hear that. Let me hear that answer. <laughs> go, go ahead, Task. I'm just saying, man. Pineapple on pizza. <laughs> this is worse than Gorilla Bear. About that. I don't even understand it. <laughs> It's disgusting. Like, why? It's sweet. It's salty. Ew. What the it's fuck? Like, it's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. No, it's not. Don't you dare. <laughs> it's salty and sweet. Don't you dare. It's like my nuts. I agree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, tip, I dip them in some fucking sugar and shit. Yeah. Skeet them out. Oh, what's yeah. that song by Chef? My uh... Chocolate Salty Balls? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. <laughs> Is he, he's back on South Park, right? He's no, dead he's as dead, fuck. Dead, I thought he came dead. back. He's so, I know. He's dying. I think how he's rotting away in the they, earth they, they right now. Then his voice, like it, they took pieces of his voice after he left. Not that after he died, but after he like left the show because mm-hmm. he got mad about Scientology. Yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. a Scientologist. So what they do is they came back like a zombie version of him. Oh, okay, it looks like sound ass. clips. It was hilarious. Yeah. All right, all right. And sorry. In the video game, the stick of truth. He's the last boss. Yes. Oh, that's that was great. a good game. <laughs> all right. Sorry. So besides pineapple on pizza, oh wow. <laughs> what other nerd rage was it? Cap and Hydro. Yeah, that's that's um that's that one kind of irks me a little bit um cuz a lot of people are upset about it 
But what they don't understand is that this isn't anything new. Cap has always been influenced to do the wrong thing a bunch of times. Like, people don't want to admit that they're just big fans of him now just simply because of the movie, which is fine. But let's not act like Marvel's doing something completely brand new. Like like I did today on Twitter, I posted numerous times where Cap has changed sides and done that as a part of his character. Like, I mean, for Christ's sakes, Red Skull has Charles Xavier's brain right now. He can make anyone do anything. <laughs> Well, let's be fair though like the the more recent Captain America has been the the one that's been more I guess against the government so to speak only because of things that have happened in real life right so but yeah the old Captain America that's that's different but the newer version of him having him change now after he kind of changed his whole core is, is, is kind of weird for a lot of people and for a lot of folks don't even know about the old Captain America shit so yeah and that's understandable until like I mean you find out it really is just Red Skull using the, the, the Charles Xavier your brain just to take over his mind so people are acting like he just purposely just said I'm a Nazi now it's like no he's being mind controlled well that, that was that was like new that was like this what yeah, this yeah. Yeah. it didn't feel cheap to you then huh because it, it felt cheap I, as fuck to me fair enough but I've been down this road so many times mm. like where uh, it's, it's a last page panel that gets people talking and yeah. gets people you know wanting to buy the issue I tell people say what you want they sold out of every single issue mm. I can go to the comic book store right now and buy all, any issue of the Rebirth. can't get Captain America number one it did what? sell go ahead uh, I was gonna say what's really interesting is that like I, I hate how the fucking media got their hands on it and they fuck, they <laughs> exactly. fucking started posting up hella spoilers and shit like that and that kind of led more people into reading the comic I guess but Still, you know that, that led me into like, not reading it like yeah. I didn't give a fuck I was just like alright he did it fuck but, it. But then, <laughs> like, like said, it did I, sell regardless I feel that uh, once the media I mean once the publishers and stuff heard the backlash from people then the next issue they fucking copped out of it and like that's the reason that's why they explain like oh no he was just mind control they would have copped out anyway though yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah we talked about that way. I but, think they were Personally, I think personally they would have copped out of it either way. I don't think that they had Cap set up for the long run just because he's so popular in the movies right now. But keep it real, Task has said this multiple times. Nobody was caping for Cap with, before the movies got popular. Now all of a sudden a whole bunch of people are Cap fans. And like you said, the new age one's a little more anti-government. He's a little more current. Mm-hmm. And they try to, you know, match him up with the book one. So, of course, they're going to go back to it. But well, it's just the idea that, you know, one of the greatest could be turned and people are paying attention to Cap. I think folks in the military though were kind of Captain America fans for a long time since he was kind of set up as a military you know, hero. Like, yeah. I, yeah, but Marvel wasn't giving him the justice in writing that they are now. Well, like, yeah. he, when it comes to writing now, he's a premier character where before, he was, he felt background. Well, back in the day, like when he was first created, he was propaganda, right? So pretty much everybody liked him because he was the guy that, but then he oh, fell yeah. off for a long time. Yeah, like, I so mean, I get that. Captain he punched America, Hitler. Yeah, yeah his yeah. first yeah. issue yeah. of Captain America is him punching Hitler in the face. Well, are we going to be real real because there weren't a whole lot of folks like all over the world loving loving Tony Stark prior to Robert Downey Jr. portraying him well because oh, he was an alcoholic yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Iron Man was that was like Z-less for years <laughs> yep like no real. Gave not for, not for me that, it was different for me because that's how I got into Marvel because I thought Iron Man was black and when I was reading it it was really uh, Rhodes you gotta turn that sorry go ahead keep yeah, going keep, going. keep, uh, keep talking about oh, that's, I was wondering why I sound like it's fucking far away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> keep, keep talking. Yeah. So anyway, Rhodes. Use your words. <laughs> when I got to when I got to uh, Iron Man, uh, Rhodes was in the suit because Tony Stark was on his couch drunk. Yeah. Right. So that was my uh, thing, and it was I don't remember if it was Invincible Iron Man or if it was just Iron Man, but I have actually a couple of the issues. You know, I like to see somebody make a video with Captain America doing the the Mike Jones back then song like. Oh, oh, no, no, back then they didn't want me. Now I'm famous out all over. Yeah, yeah, with the shield and everything. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, that's real talk. That was the Invincible Iron Man you were reading, the Demon okay. in the Bottle storyline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which is something I was hoping they would do more in the movies. Nah. Yeah, and the reason sure why I not. like that is it's a reminder that... Tony Stark is human. Very he's not Batman, but Batman doesn't make mistakes. Tony Stark is a fuck up. He's a, he's unstable, yeah. Yeah, and, and he's consistently. Well, I mean, if you look at the movies, sometimes. they portray that very well. He created well, Ultron, yeah. you know. Yep. Hey, <laughs> did you like that? 
Mm, I mean, nope. I don't like nope. him per se, but at the same time, they had him do it. Yeah, which right is now. like, hey, look, we have to give this guy. You know, and the creation of Voltron has to flaw a man, mm-hmm. just like yeah. it did Hank Pym. Yeah, you know, where yeah. Hank Pym was was a potentially this great scientist, and he was flawed within his own creation he because was. he set himself up only to do battle with it and constantly throw himself into the idea of beating him his own creation. Right. Well, and Hank Pym had a mean backhand too. He he. Used to go <laughs> yeah. and, and you know that's why oh, yeah, people get mad. Well. They're saying, "How come Marvel didn't push Scott, uh, uh, Hank Pym?" And I, I have to remind people, this is Disney here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're not going to push the wife. character that's getting back, that's backhanding women. No. Okay, yeah. like they're not going to push yeah. him. Just the same reason why people want the old Nova back, which was Richard Ryder. They now have the new kid that is there, and everyone wants Richard Ryder back as Nova. I tell everyone all the time, Disney's not going to promote a character named Dick Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There you go. They're uh, not going to do it. Like, yeah. give it I mean, you never know. They just it. might, but yeah. I think the thing about Ultron, though, is that even though in the beginning of the movie they talk about finishing the Ultron project and they had the ways to doing it, so they could still kind of worm Hank Pym as the originator of building Ultron. Nah, they ain't, they ain't going They're probably route. not, but it's it, that door, that window is still available to them. So, I mean, we are going to get a sequel to Ant-Man. We're getting Ant-Man and Wasp. Yeah, but that's not Hank Pym, though, right? No, it won't be yeah, Ant-Man. So but he, I mean, as long as Michael Douglas is still alive. He's pretty much a non-character. Yeah. 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 And he was with Tony Stark's dad in the beginning of the Ant-Man. Yeah, so Stark. he has connections with Howard Stark. Yeah, so yeah. he has connections to him. And I wonder if Tony's going to ask Tony him. pioneered a lot of his dad's uh, yeah. original, you know, uh, original paperwork and right. inventions and everything. So. Exactly. I wonder so, if Tony's. I wonder if Tony's going to find Hank Pym and ask him, "Did you know?" Ah, oh, oh. where's my mystery report? Yeah, December sixteenth, nineteen ninety-one. Mission report. <laughs> 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 good shit. That's good. awesome. Good shit. That's All cool. right. Um, I'll, I'll, here, I want to get your quick take, though, on uh, what other uh, superheroes, like even from the Avengers, are you fans of, uh, like, A-Force and Black Widow and uh, Hawkeye or, you know, some of the lesser? Mercs for hire. Um, I don't personally think of them as lesser right now. Um, if I had to think of lesser heroes that are uh, currently in... Uh I don't know. Who do I read that's lesser? Go ahead. If you got anybody, <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know. You know who I want to see more of? Um, and I'm hoping they put her in the movie. I want She-Hulk. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we talked I about a couple weeks character ago. character is She-Hulk, and I tell people why. Out of every superhero in Marvel, She-Hulk is the only one that actually likes being a superhero. She loves it. She doesn't want to go back to being normal. Matter of fact, okay. there, I have Fancy. issues where Captain America has even told her, like, um, when was the last time you've been Jennifer? And she's like, I'm always Jennifer. And he's like, no, like, in your regular form. Oh, like, she yeah. doesn't want to go back. That's That's Everyone's she's... fighting for peace. Everyone yeah. wants evil to end. She hopes having the time of her life. So would that's you cool. say that almost the new Hulk uh, Cho interferes with that because that's his character? You think he did join that though? Yeah, if you read any he issue, he's it. oh yeah, he doesn't join it. He's happy to be. Yeah. It. That's happy his to whole be. character. Well, well, is, I'm happy to be the totally awesome Hulk. I mean, totally awesome is the title. Well, he's oh, happy you're talking about I'm, I'm a day is Cho, but he's scared yeah, though. Like right now, oh, he's God. scared because the the backseat Hulk's coming to the forefront, and he's already taken over a couple times. Mm-hmm. So he might like it, but he knows that the Hulk is like. There now, yeah, he knows it's bigger than what he expected. Yeah, yeah. I like Amadeus Cho as a character. I still think Marvel's gonna fit him in somehow in the movies because his mom was in Age of Ultron. Oh, okay. The, oh, okay. Uh, what was her name? The, yeah. Oh, the, the yeah. Scientist. Okay, yeah. that makes That's sense. Yeah, that that makes sense. Name. But see, so, in the animated world, he's doing Iron Spider shit for oh, Marvel. Oh, he's in the Iron Spidey suit on a cartoon. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Because I've watched it a few times. I'm like, who the fuck is that? Like, yeah, that's that him. Supposed to be Peter Parker. Okay, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, threw me off too. I was like, wait, who the fuck's in the Iron Iron Spider suit? And then all of a sudden, like, he took it off, and it's like some super genius kid. He's like super smart and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Every day's show's an awesome character. When you guys get a chance, I would recommend reading the Greg Pak Incredible Hercules series. Hmm, okay. Actually, let me ask you guys: Did you guys ever read World War Hulk? World War, yes, yes. I what about Planet Hulk? Yeah, it's on my list, okay. though. Yeah. Okay. If you read that, you're going to be pissed off at the Marvel Universe because you're going to be like, why is this not a film? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
World or Planet Hulk made it to animated. World yeah, Marvel. it needs to be live. Yeah. It needs to be It'd live. Be nice. I, I need one. Oh, go ahead. We get them in Ragnarok a, a yeah. whole lot more, which I'm this looking forward true. to. This is true. But the main reason why we haven't gotten a Hulk movie yet is that Universal still owns the rights to them. Yep. Look at y'all. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So it's like Disney's holding off. I'm pretty sure they're gonna get the rights back. Speaking of which, I heard just recently. I have people. I have people who whisper to me who are in the industry. There was a meeting with Disney and Fox recently. Yeah, I heard about this. Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah. Um, I hope. It, I hope it's true. The money was change hands. Mm. Yeah. I mean, go. everybody wants the X Men. I'm gonna say something controversial. Oh, I know where he's going. Here we go. Here we go. I don't think we need the X Men. What it is, is that Fox needs to make better X-Men films. Oh, there you uh, go. Ooh, you talk about the impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm but just wow. saying, the X-Men and the Avengers never really mushed like that. Like, the Avengers were over here doing their shit. Yep. X-Men over here doing their shit. So, that's why I'm like, we don't really need X-Men. What we want are better films. Yeah. And that doesn't need to go to Disney for that to happen. Case in point with, with Deadpool. We need Fantastic Four. Ah, here's right. why. And it's not even because of the Fantastic Four. I tell people we need Fantastic Four not because of the Fantastic Four. Because of everyone else that comes with them. Yeah, so you want the scroll coming. We want scrolls, Galactus, yeah. Doctor Doom, Doom, Silver Surfer. Yeah. That's yeah they, they need to keep Galactus out of there because last time right? they, they had Galactus was garbage. <laughs> well, I th- you know, I think eventually they're going to do that because uh, they've already pretty much, they didn't kill off the Fantastic Four, but they're, they're done for now. Mm-hmm. So they the they've, they've written them out effectively. Yeah, Fox never I, release yeah and, and they're going to write cool off they X Men too. It'd be cool if they broke them up into like have them be part of other parties, like like the Invisible Woman or Johnny Storm, like have them be part of like maybe the X Men or like some other like some other team. Yeah, I don't need the X Men universe to mesh with Avengers, but like like you were saying, I wanted I want good X Men movies. Right. That's my whole thing. Like they can be their own little separate universe and everything. And I just I think Disney does a really good job of setting up that world. Singer does doesn't make good X-Men movies though. He makes yeah. shit fucking movies like that Apocalypse movie that we just all saw. Uh, I still like this. I thought it was all right. I'm going to say something that's controversial. I don't think there's been a good X-Men movie yet. Mm. Damn. They yeah. are. They're- there, there hasn't been a nine out of ten for certain. No, no there definitely hasn't, all. and there may not have been an eight out of ten. I'm kind of with them. I think X two was probably X two was my X two was yeah, a good. Six. Six. was acceptable. It was a six. It was six. solid. This my it doesn't it doesn't hold up. I enjoyed X two at the time. Yeah, just that first scene with Nightcrawler blew my fucking mind when I saw it in the theater. Exactly. I was and like, that's crazy. At end, and the scene at the end with Phoenix was the original like post credit scene. Yeah. yeah. Let yeah. people know. Oh wow, it's just about to go down. And then nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, I personally enjoyed First Class, but it, it, it's nowhere near on the levels, and you can't compare it to the Avenger movies no. on on any of them. No, they're, uh, they're not. They, it's embarrassing. Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence time. and that Mystique bullshit being a hero. Fuck all of that noise. Well, that ruined it for me because I was at the comic book store recently. There's this little girl trying to read comic books there, and she was so confused. She was like, <laughs> "I just think so mean in the books," and I wanted to say something like, "Cause." Brian Brian Singer fucked it up. Yeah. Brian Singer doesn't know yeah. what he's She's doing. supposed to be blue in a fucking dress. Yeah. yeah. Not like uh, normal looking. Should give her, yeah, give her a DVD of those, those uh, 90s X Men cartoons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Set her straight. Just have a bunch of them on deck. Yeah. Like, hand them out like mixtapes. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, I hey, little girl. Hey, look. Like a mixtape. I will say Days of Future Past, I was really, I was impressed with. Is I, that the Cuba me. one? I didn't like yeah. that. One. No, not the Cuba one. That's no. the one where they. they the Bone Claws. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of the better ones. Yeah. That was a Wolverine movie, though. Yeah. 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 Wolverine, goes back, she got it, Wolverine goes back in time and kisses his mom. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I rewatched it, and I remember when I first saw Days of Future Past, and I was like, this is great. But then after a year or two, I was like, I can't believe I actually like it. Yeah, things don't hold up very well with X Men. Yeah. Yeah, to me, the yeah, movies don't have any rewatch quality. What they did to no Bishop was a travesty. Like, no, oh, yeah. yeah. Y'all made a big deal about oh. him being there. He's barely there. They did the same thing to Jubilee in the next film. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, her role got cut down a lot. She said like the entire, four lines. all of them. No, Psylocke. Psylocke was wasn't doing shit, it, yeah. and Storm wasn't doing shit. Storm wasn't. And Angel died in a plane crash. 
Yep, that's yeah. the one. Yeah, that's pretty the dumb. The only person Dude that can that fly, can fly yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is the one that dies in the plane crash. Someone explain this to me. And Psylocke yeah. survives. Only one survives. <laughs> but the one guy that can fly. The only one is, with the wings. I don't get it. I'm like, yeah. do you guys even care? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Does, and I, and can Psylocke fly just, it, in the comics? No, no. She doesn't? Oh. No. It's just like with uh, Darwin in uh, Days of Future Past. Oh, the guy yeah. that can yeah. adapt. Oh, God. Get in your Like, oh, you can adapt? How about this privilege, bitch? <laughs> Blew his ass yeah, up. Anyway, I was say, he can um, adapt, but he can't adapt to white privilege. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, I know Psylocke used to be white in the comics. Like her original character was white. Well, yeah, she's, she's got a she she's got a, she's got a British sort of backstory yeah. with Captain Britain. She has a shitty backstory, which is one of the main reasons why I really, really think. And this is what I say. You know, people think I'm really hard on DC. I'm almost double hard on Marvel, believe it or not. I think that Marvel should have hit the reset button after Secret Wars because there's some things that just needed to be fixed. Yeah. And one of those things was Psylocke. She has a shitty backstory. Her backstory is convoluted. There's That's a lot fuck. of shit. Like, yeah. I was trying to tell this guy, uh, that's Captain Britain's twin sister. He yeah. was like, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's weird. Betsy Braddock. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm like, no, that's his twin sister. And he's like, she's Asian. And I'm like, yeah. uh, then she fought the chick named Ravenous, and they mm-hmm. trade braids, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like, blades what? and bodies and, yeah, and all that. Yeah. That's uh, convoluted. I mean, there are things that need to be fixed. For example, Reed Richards fought in World War II. Oh, yeah. yeah, like it's like yeah, what? He, he has gray hair. Yeah, like, he <laughs> on the original old man yeah. superhero. He has gray hair. Sue looks really good for it. She real young. He got a youngster. He was like sixteen. She was like twenty four. <laughs> something. I hey. keep asking what that mouth do on hey, Sue. Hey, Hugh Hefner. <laughs> if Hugh Hefner can do it, fuck it. <laughs> Silas' real name is <laughs> Betsy. Yeah. Yeah. Chronos, get in here. Call him Mr. Fantastic. You no, know I was going to say putting it down. All right. Yeah, I was going to say about the X Men universe that they still haven't casted Wolverine right. Every time I see fucking uh, Hugh Jackman, I'm like, that's not Wolverine. Too tall. Yeah, he's too, he's too tall. He's, he is too tall. Yeah, he's, he doesn't talk like Wolverine to me. He doesn't ever get that rage that, that seems, uh, you know, believable to me. Yeah. He doesn't have this, the right kind of attitude. Like, none you of that shit. Well, it's probably the directors, too. Um, what's his name who played Mad Max? Oh, yeah, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy. Tom yeah. Tom Hardy. He's Bang. too tall, but he, up at yeah, he's, he's the right sure? person. I thought he was short. I think no, he's like 5'7", no. five, 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 eight. I'm though. pretty sure he's pretty tall. Yeah. I mean, well, nobody's going to be not, as short yeah, as people. Because I think Wolverine's supposed to be like 5'3", or something. As long as he's like... You know, legitimately, legitimately yoked. I mean, I, I see Hugh Jackman now. He's, he's kind of yoked, but he skipped leg day though. Then he get, like, uh, get like Maurice Jones Drew or something. There you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, he's, somebody, he's not. He's not stocky. Yeah, he's not stocky yeah. at all. All right. Wolverine don't cut with the legs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, so for you guys, uh, where can we? Sorry to wrap things up, but where can we find y'all on uh, the interwebs and any shout outs or whatever? Uh, you can find us on Twitter at Supersuit Show, uh, all one word. Uh, go to www.supersuitshow, all one word, dot com, and it'll take you to our YouTube. You can see our old live videos. Um, SoundCloud, uh, Supersuit Dash Show, for whatever reason, want us to do that. Why not Dash? Yeah, <laughs> it, it just wanted it that way. <laughs> They're against so. black people. Yeah, I see. Uh, trying to hold me down, trying to take my money. But um, uh, that's where you can find us out on the web right now. You can also search iTunes for Super Suit Show and Stitcher and there's other stuff as well I'm sure. And for those seeing y'all right now on the uh, YouTube feed uh, it almost looks like a wonderful comic shop that you're in. Any comment on uh, that? This is A1 Comics mm-hmm. uh, that we're in after out we, I shouldn't have said that huh? now they'll know. Um, if you watch this I admit <laughs> that um, statement um, per law <laughs> some so, you know, I didn't say that. Horrible. Other than that, <laughs> we're at the comic shop uh, so, uh, with permission. Yeah. So, quick question before you guys go. Like, what's the meaning behind the name of your podcast? Um, we we got to talking, and oddly enough, it was through some uh, magic black person at a store that I haven't even brought up to this guy. He told me that um, he talked to me one day, and I told him about some comics. He was like, you know a lot of stuff like this man Task. After, like, probably eight years, we got back together, and we started just out of nowhere we talking, and we yeah. found out we lived in the same exact apartment complex. No lie. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> um, even though I had just moved from Southern California. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and after that, we 
started talking, and in the middle of the conversation, uh, we decided on uh, where's my super suit, you know, because we were yeah. coming back to uh, coming back to the comic talk. Nice. Yeah, I was really really down when he contacted me. I was going through some things in life, and <laughs> I was telling him, and I was just like, man, I don't know if I should do this. Uh, I don't know if I should do it. And he just said, you know what, man? Sometimes, just like my man Frozone said, you just got to go and find your super suit. So, yeah. Hold on. So where'd you hide the bodies then? Oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, you can find me a first 48, man. <laughs> no forensic files. <laughs> you know you fucked up, right? <laughs> much love. Thank y'all oh, yeah. so much. Hey, We're all going to have to meet up and get some drinks one day. Shout out to uh, you guys back in the Black Infinity podcast. Shout out to the Drunk Comics Fan Cat podcast. Shout out to everybody, man. The Name on Podcast Comic Noob Show. Salute to all of you, man. Nice. Shout Thank out you. Fourth Wall, everybody. Oh, Fourth so Wall, all them motherfuckers. Yeah, and everybody. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> yes. this, shout out to you, too. Nice. Uh, and uh, since y'all are NorCal, when we, uh, uh, we'll have to get some drinks or yeah, something. You know what yeah. I mean? We all gotta chill. Roll up in it's Sacramento. Good, man. Uh, we go down there, one or the other. One or the uh, other. We should start a, a podcast expo, like like a California podcast expo. Hell yeah. Have all the local we just need to all together. squad up Hell and get yeah. like a fucking hey, badass. Let's get team. something going for SACCon, man. There's Ooh. a. Um, Wait, a SAC anime or the SAC Comic Con? No, like the SACCon. Okay. I helped put the, I helped put that together from years ago. It's, oh, let's wrap. still going strong. Yeah, let's rap. We need to be on a panel over there, though. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, because there's a local um, Sacramento video game blog, and they did Wizard World. I'm Hell like, yeah. yeah. Like, Yo, I could do that. Yeah, we oh, yeah. we going to talk offline. We're going to squad up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squad up. Hell yeah. yeah. Come yeah. together like Voltron. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, there you go. Now, we're hella interested. All our eyes got super I big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Thank y'all so much. Thank you guys for having us. Yeah, take it easy. Much love. See you guys. All right. That was fun. That was cool. Really good yeah. shit. Okay. I love having guests. Just, yeah. Yeah. Guys, huh? Just for the record, pineapple is a fruit. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, it's got seeds. Yeah. There you go. And it grows out of the Hold on. You guys ready? We're going to go to our official new uh, layout. Oh, shit. Oh, we got shit. we got sp- corporations on here. Oh, uh, shit. Gamefly and Loot Crate. I can't even see. There I you go. Oh, oh, we'll we'll twist it on over. Um, so oh, for those of nice. you who are hearing, uh, Kronos did an awesome intro. Oh. Well, it was kind of shitty, but I'll work on it. Nah, on it, it yeah. <laughs> we, should, we should definitely do like a recording, like, you know, us acting out something. Yeah. Yeah. It looks good world. to me. Mine well, would be an MS Paint if I tried to do that. Why don't you explain that? It would be a word. Explain that to the people. Yeah, so we, we actually have uh, two sponsors now. Um, I just said one of them in the intro. Uh, Loot Crate is sponsoring us as well as Gamefly. Hell yeah! And so for both of those, I guess, so this will rarely happen in our normal podcast. Yes. But, because I, I told them, I asked right away, like, we don't want to do commercials in the middle of the podcast to fuck up, you know, our flow. But, in this instance, I'll say it again since we just got them. That's yeah, announcement. Right. Yeah, so uh, you guys already know about Loot Crate. Basically, it's like you're getting a Comic-Con in a box. Yep. Yeah. I mean, for, for the price... Well, actually, less than the cost of a, of a T-shirt, you're getting a box full of nerdy stuff. Yeah. Hell yeah. And, so, and they all come with a T-shirt, though, right? Yeah, and they all come with a T-shirt. Yeah. And, and usually, like, some kind of little pop vinyl or some kind of other type of pop vinyl type thing, like a little toy. Yeah. And a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I've been getting it for maybe a year now. Um, it's been pretty awesome. I got a bunch of cool stuff. So if you guys want to try Loot Crate um, and, and give us some, some credit, give us some money back. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, you can go to uh, trylootcrate.com forward slash be them BTI and put in the promo code BRIDGE10, as in a bridge like you're going to walk over a bridge, and that'll save you uh, 10%. And uh, our other sponsor is Gamefly. Uh, Gamefly, if you guys don't know, it's kind of like the Netflix of video games. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it so is. basically, yeah, you, you pay a monthly fee, they send you a game. When you're done with it, you send it back, they send you another one. Um, basically, you have a list, and you can just play games for a, a very low, for less than what it'll cost you to buy a game every yeah. month. Yeah. Yep. It's uh, like, what, 7 to $10 a month? Something, something like that, yes. Yeah. It's super cheap. They have, uh, they have like 8,000 new releases. Uh, the, you, you can rent things on the Xbox One, 360, PS4, PS3, mm-hmm. Vita, Wii, Wii U, uh, 3DS, even older systems yeah, they yeah. have on there. And a new feature, I don't know if it's new or not, but another feature they have is that you can also get uh, Blu-ray and uh, DVDs on there. If you oh, want nice. that. That's cool. For, for the yeah. same monthly fee. It's much more cost-effective than actually going out and like, buying the game than trying to return it to even
even GameStop. Oh, and yeah. Everything. yeah. It's, you, yeah. you can play it, return it, and you're good to go. You can get your trophy count up and, and be like Kronos. Yeah, yeah. And, and if, <laughs> if you want to actually buy the game from them, yeah, you can, they'll, oh, you they'll can buy it from them too. Yeah, they'll buy the game for a, for a low use You got price. everything oh, you yeah. need. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll send you, they'll email you the case and the instruction books too, like yeah. after you pay for it. Yeah, it's and, nice. and there's, there's never uh, overdue fees or anything like that. Yeah. As long as you're paying the monthly fee if you have the game, then there's no overdue or anything like that. So it's pretty cool. And when you hear us talking about a great game like Overwatch or whatever, and let's say you haven't purchased it, you go ahead and put it on your list. Yeah. Yeah. Rent it basically Check from it them. Out. Yeah. And then you'd be smashing online with us, yes. with all them waifus. So, Black and Black <laughs> Affinity, how do you get the credit for this? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a uh, sign up for a free 30 day trial. It's uh, for one game, one game out. Um, if you go to gameflyoffer.com forward slash be then BTI. Once again, it's a, it's a free 30 day offer, and it's uh, gameflyoffer.com forward slash be then BTI. See, that's a, that was a much better. Okay, I'm getting yeah. used to it. Yeah, that light. Kind of rolling back to, corporate to Loot Crate. Um, you know, Loot Crate doesn't, doesn't just do like random shit, too. They also have theme crates, too. So there's like Loot Crate, there's the normal Loot Crate, there's Loot Crate Anime, there's Loot Crate games, but they also have a Loot Crate for pets. So if you have like a dog or I cat, see that. you can cool. get a package for your animal too. So you also get a, a discounter deal through that too, which is great. I, I just yeah. want Overwatch Loot waifus. That's, yeah. all I want. That's really what yeah. I want. All right, we're getting into the real deal. Uh, the shit we got in these sti- topics. Yes, we got Ooh. Stitch back up in here from his long oh, hiatus saving man. the goddamn city. Just training would work. As much as I, I love being out here in California, it's it's training's been a bitch because you get on certain things, certain rotations, they want you on this shift, that shift, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. so it's like, ah, um, but I got a podcast to do, I can't just be like... <laughs> <laughs> you out in them streets with Alonzo from training day. Exactly. Doing PCP. I, I didn't know you like to get wet. <laughs> <laughs> but oh yeah, it's, it's it's definitely always good to get back in the studio and just feel the dankness, like just absorbing it through my body. There it's you like, go. And, this podcast is like a release, like all that stress yeah. and tension just gets fucking. Exactly. Just, yeah. 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 Why do you think Prodigy is so fucking loud in the opening? He's letting it all yes. out. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, zip. All right. So since you are uh, back in here for the first time in weeks, why don't you fit, pick the first one? Uh, that oh we man, on, uh, man. Wait, wait, wait. There's something on the list we should probably address. First. All right. What we address it first? God we damn should it. talk about uh, what happened in. Uh, Istanbul. Okay, uh, bring it up. Oh uh, yeah. So in Istanbul, we well, we'll start somber. This. Yeah, there was a there was a terrorist explosion that killed fifty people. Suicide bombers. In, suicide bombers in uh, Istanbul, and uh, I didn't see a whole lot of media coverage, but I just saw like live like information coming through, like all these people were dying and they were sifting through bodies and stuff. And yeah, I saw. It I remember too. the news first came out. They said that uh, fifty people had died, and then, so what the suicide bombers did is they they attacked at an airport, right. and it's like the fourth most popular most used airport in the world and uh they were saying they were saying there was two bombers but there might have been four yeah. but then like as the report went on they the body the people who died the total for people who died went down to like 30 and that yeah. they still didn't know how many bombers there were or who was responsible so it was a lot of people injured I, I can't remember exactly what i saw i thought it was like 200 something injured maybe like 40 possibly dead or something yeah. i saw it like early early this morning. i did see it on the news and so i do give credit for uh national media giving light to it um, and it, it is really a sad and unfortunate incident it's yeah. just a Lost fucked a up life. world that he lives in it's I mean it's happening more yeah. frequently than it should fucked up alright I don't think anybody is I think um, I think ISIS might have came forward and said that they were responsible but I'm not sure if that was well, accurate don't, yeah don't trust us for news on this well, did, you, did you hear about like uh, I guess ISIS had posted up or there was a video going around that they were going to do like a Explosions like here in the Bay Area, like yeah, it's always, yeah. there's always threats. I mean, yeah, yeah, it, it was a threat basically. Yeah, but the I guess the FBI or CIA or something like said that they weren't going to follow up on it. That it wasn't creditable. Mm. There's, there's a lot of threats that are not credible. Yeah. yeah. So all right, let, let, let's switch gear. Unless there's any other no no other. All right, Stitch, you pick. Oh, we started with the throne. Yeah, that's a good way to start. Yeah. 
last week. Oh, uh, not well. Yeah, I mean, no, my hero, Joffrey. What? Spoilers. Uh, Spoilers will be discussed because Game of Thrones is that important. Dead, Joffrey been ruling shit better than anybody Joffrey before and after him. You know what? That's a good dude. fucking point. Uh, I've been uh, saying it. Way. His dad was a way better ruler. Well, but he was. Way a, but he wasn't the king though. Right? His dad was the king. The grandfather. Oh, sorry, the grandfather. Yeah. I thought he was him. He was. He was never technically the king. I'm talking to people that actually wore the crown. Yeah, the crown. What's his name? Not the Baratheon guy. What the fuck's his name? Oh, Robert. The one that, Cersei's first husband. The one that got oh, stabbed Rob? by the pig. Robert yeah, he was a way better king. Wait, is that the one who? Yeah, everybody what? liked him. Everybody liked him. He wasn't killing people. Nobody hated him. He wasn't the Mad King. I'll give yeah, you that. He was not. He was not the Mad. Everybody king. liked him. There was no problems in the kingdom. But he. Well, we he got said there uh, were, but he didn't know how to keep it. We all don't I have that time. much of a window to see on, in terms of his rule. We're just getting because when we when we start hold the fuck on. How long was Joffrey the king as far as seasons go? Two? I, two, I thought. Yeah. yeah. No, it was yeah. Like, that was like one, one and a half. One yeah. and a half. But we only saw your guy for... It was, a whole, it was more than a whole season. What? No, I thought it was he died. He died in the shit. first yeah, right. like six yeah, episodes. Yeah, yeah. 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 But he was, he got him fucked up on was, wine and he, he got was, stabbed by a pig. He was still a better king, though. He was still a better king. How, Sway? I just told you. <laughs> Everybody, everybody was happy. Yeah, but that was Nobody that, hated him. We didn't see it, though. That was just like saying, like, once upon a time, everyone was happy. No, you and, saw it when he was there. No, nobody was talking shit about how he was. He wasn't acting shitty to nobody. He didn't behead somebody's fucking dad right in front of him and the put se- the fucking head on the display. The season started, they were going to Ned because he was like, Ned, I need your help running this shit. Cause I, yeah, he knew when to ask for help. That's a good sign of a king. Yeah. That was in not, episode five. Not, and, not putting the, not the, the father's bad. head in front of fucking what's like, He had no mercy. He had no had mercy. No mercy. He, Jarvin was a fucking asshole. Yes. He was an asshole. He was. Come on now. We ain't trying to pretend now. <laughs> he got killed by his girl, though. He was shooting people. He was shooting people with yeah. goddamn crossbows. He got bones. killed by his I, girl that I, was fucking I love her how, brother. I love yeah. how we're debating stuff points. from season one and season three rather <laughs> yeah. than the finale. But well, go ahead. Yeah. Well, I mean, we need to do like a whole Game of Thrones like yeah, so, recap. Well, I mean, the whole reason she had him killed because she was jealous of a dead woman because Rob was uh, in love with Ned's sister and she was dead. And they went when the very first episode, he pays his respects to Ned's sister. And Cersei was all up in <laughs> So we know he couldn't lay the dick down right. Ah, okay. Let's go to season six. Right okay, now. yeah, <laughs> let's, let's fast forward. <laughs> But you started it with that Joffrey bullshit. Well, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You opened the floodgates. Well, we eat. Well, Kronos brought it back to to episode one. <laughs> so I, I, had to, I had to remember everything that was going on. That was a long ass time ago. I marathoned I, through two I can't seasons. let you say nonsense like that. <laughs> Seriously. Motherfuckers torturing people, fucking leaving heads behind and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? How about a good king? Joffrey was making impressions, though. Joffrey was taking over. It was like the game of risk. God, he was playing a game. Joffrey was a little bastard who needed. Doesn't matter. Beat. Was he better than Tomlin? Uh, Tomlin oh, Tomlin was better than Tomlin. Tomlin. He's better than Tomlin. Tomlin. I'll give you that. There were, there were the extremes of both. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah his, his vagina lips were dragging yeah, on the floor. I was, and I've been <laughs> arguing with me, me and uh, Old Ninja been getting drinks and everything, and we bring this up all the time. We be sure going did. back and forth. I'm like, you understand. He's like, no, Tomlin's good. I'm like, Tomlin's fucking bitch. Yeah, yeah. Tomlin, Tomlin can't <laughs> no, run shit. Tomlin got his wife locked up. <laughs> he, he got his mom locked up, walking nude in the streets, getting <laughs> shit thrown on him. How you go? Don't, don't even say that motherfucker's name. It's, it's I was so funny because well, Stitch is always like, dude, my favorite Carries Joffrey. I'm like, Joffrey. He's like, yeah. Joffrey. He, he lists all well, this shit. I'm like, oh my god. And I, is Jackie? Was it Gleason? What's it, what's the actor's name? Jackie, Jackie Gleason. Yeah. One of these days to the moon. Alice. Yeah, no shit. You know, was what, what was it, what was the the actor's name that played Joffrey? Because first of all, oh, I don't know. I don't know his name. name. He was an amazing actor. Oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, I've yeah. said this numerous times. Anytime they can actually make you feel some passion, even though oh, you yeah. hated him, he like I, I hated Ramsey. You hated him from like day one when he when he's getting lying about getting his ass whipped by like Arya oh, yeah. in, in, in their little sword battle and shit and he, just his crazy stupid lucky come up that he made and how he doesn't deserve to be there so when he's just punch him in the face and I just you just I took a moment I'm like I hate this dude I never met so much in my <laughs> life because he's such a fucking good actor at what he does I don't know if it's it's the writing where, that makes me hate him so much but he's so fucking good at it he's like that kid from uh, Harry Potter with the blonde hair yeah, yeah, like, yeah. he's, he's 
right king now. troll. He yeah, was yeah. king troll, and I was like, you know what? As much of a fuck boy he as he is, like I, he's the peak of, of trolling. Yeah, and then he, he was. I'll yeah, give you he that. Got, well, he, he, got, he was the peak for a long time. Yeah. 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 Until His name is fucking Ramsey, yeah. Ramsey Bolton. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. He, Ram- he took that crown. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it, Ramsey was like. Ramsey was. A, he was like an older Joffrey to me. Ramsey was more ruthless and a worse villain. I I think Ramsey wasn't more a, of a troll per se. No, he Ramsey was more conniving, manipulative, and sadistic. Ramsey was a worse character than I think Joffrey was. I think it was you in terms of the hate meter. Ooh. I hated Ramsey's, Joffrey a little more. I, I hated I Joffrey did. more. I, did, I hated oh. him a little bit more. Well, he, he I mean, he cut off a dude's dick. I yeah, mean, that, that was pretty bad. And yeah. the shit that he just he just he tore cut off motherfucker. And he, he cut off someone's he dick. He raped because he raped Sam. He yeah. flayed. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Joffrey, all, all well, Joffrey did was shoot a bitch flame, with a crossbow. Infant, infanticide or, or killing or uh, what was the thing? He regicide. Killed, no, where he killed the baby, basically. Oh, with the dogs. oh, yeah. oh dude, that too. He did regicide. How, so how are we comparing the two in terms of worse? Look, I, I hate. I'm just saying personally, I hated Joffrey a little bit more. <laughs> okay, that's all. Okay, that's all I got. But well, let's get on that. On why we get on the season? season. <laughs> I, I think the reason why I think Joffrey maybe hated more by some people is because Ramsey got dirty, like a yeah. little dirty. He got way dirtier than fucking <laughs> than Joffrey did. Yeah. That's why he was such yeah. a good troll. That battle yeah. of Blackwater and literally T- uh, Tyrion did all the hard work. He saved all of King's Landing yeah. and then and while Joffrey's hiding in the, in the fucking cell <laughs> yeah. and then he gets all the credit. I yeah. was so fucking hilarious. <laughs> so hilarious. Yeah, for, th- for those Joffrey who don't know shit for those who don't know there was a Halloween where Stitch uh, dressed up in white face as Joffrey and there are pictures of that. We need to release it's those. Yeah. It was yeah. great. And she was in my, my uh, Lilo, my, my wife was a uh, Queen Marjorie. Oh, <laughs> so my, so one, my one true queen. Oh. I was hurt. Yeah, I was sad too. Let's talk about the episode. I almost had a throat tear. I was like, uh, yeah, was uh, fine. I was sad, lost my yeah. appetite. Uh, I wanted to drink whiskey, <laughs> drink all kinds of brown. Yeah. So <laughs> give me some E and J. You're sitting in the fucking shower, sitting down, crying and shit. E and J though. <laughs> okay, what happened on this episode, goddammit? People are set. like, what the fuck? Uh, like I mean, me. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, okay, so. Well, it started out with, uh, what was the guy's name? Uh, the the brother getting going on trial? Yeah, the the seven. The oh, seven, se- the oh seven. Marjorie's brother. Yeah, Marjorie's yeah. brother. I his name. Uh, Tyrell? Yeah. His sister? Is it Tyrell? No, not, no, 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 he's not a Lannister. Whoever he is. Uh, Marjorie's Lannister. Lannister. It, it, it starts with L. Lannister. Yeah, Lannis. He went on trial, and basically he confessed to his sins, and they fucking mutilated his ass through his fucking well, they set it up really good. I knew I knew they were gonna fucking do that shit to him. Because I mean, they they set it up where everyone's prepared. Well, and I watched the episode twice where Cersei's getting dressed and everything, and then you realize she's getting dressed in the in the queen's oh uh, yeah t- in attire and it everything. Looks like armor which, which brings up a, a question I'll, I'll come back to later. But um, she's getting dressed up and she's just sipping on her red wine, staring at the window at the Capitol and everything. Meanwhile, trial's getting set in place. Tommen's bitch ass is getting ready, put on. <laughs> His fucking it's, Velcro it's, shoes it's or whatever Tom, the fuck. I, I believe it's Tommen, not Tommen. 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 I, yeah. I don't need to learn that bitch boy. <laughs> <laughs> fuck his couch. Tom, Tommen's putting on his Velcro <laughs> shoes, his British Knights, whatever, <laughs> whack ass shoes, his, his, his fila. Nice. <laughs> Back in the day, god day. Then homeboy Mountain comes in and just like, you shall not pass. Zombie Mountain. Yeah, Zombie Mountain come in with the, with, he still got, then he could get him in some new gold armor. Yeah, he, no still, shit. he still, still got, got the four in his chest. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Meanwhile, trial starts. They go through this whole bullshit religion, yada, yada, yada. And um, my, my bae realizes something's not right. Well, it's because they're waiting for Cersei. Cersei. They're waiting for Cersei so to be there. After the brother is judged, renounces his name, his title, and so decides his to name is Sir Loris Tyrell, the Knight of yeah. Flowers, in all caps. Thank you, Kevin. Oh. <laughs> so, you so Cersei. sir wrong, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Cersei isn't there, and Tommen isn't there. And immediately, uh, Marjorie realizes she knows the consequences of her not being here, and she's not here on purpose. 
purpose. Yep. And the person she probably only cares about is not here also. When obviously they realize, all right, we're delaying, we're delaying, like something's not right. Meanwhile, the the little the whisperer kids and everything. The sparrows. The sparrows, sparrows yeah. yeah. I couldn't think of the name off the top of my head. Little the birds. Sp- little birds trick a uh, bitch boy head sparrow lieutenant yeah. to uh, high sparrow. High sparrow the lieutenant. The monk motherfucker. To go they, they trick two people. They tricked him and then the Oh, the, the guy that's been guy? pretending to be crippled for seasons. Yeah, yeah. laying the fucking pipe. Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> laying pipe yeah. on, yeah. on hose. Like, he so he liked actually, himself some whores, though. I yeah, like that. Yeah, that yeah, old yeah. man was like, ah, my dick still works, yeah. though. I was like, like <laughs> do they have Viagra there? He had a dick on credit because he was like, I'm fucking, where's my mom? I'll pay you later. Yeah. I'm out. You go get me some Ikes. Black and black times infinity. Brought to you by Ike. <laughs> so, so they uh, he chases them into the to the under tunnels of the uh, of the um, I guess like city church. halls. Big, yeah, big church. Yeah, city hall where, yeah, where the Supreme Court is. And uh, they, do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> he gets shanked. He gets shanked all style in the, in the kitchen. Shanked by kids. Yeah, kids. shanked. By, well, the first guy. Oh, first yeah, guy, yeah. He got, uh, yeah. He got that kidney shot. Yeah. yeah. Like was done. They stabbed him like some crazy child's play type shit. Yeah. With some, I, I, that was gruesome. Didn't they cut the back Little, of his ankles? No, no, no. They, no, uh, no, the first one. Oh, the okay. first guy. Yeah, they, they Pi- got him as kid. Grandmaster okay. Picel or whatever the fuck. They, they shanked him and he backhanded one of the kids. He got a good shot at one of the little brats. Yeah. But they just got over, he got overpowered and uh, they just stabbed him like child's play Chucky dolls. Oh, you're talking about the old guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah the old guy. That dude was spitting up blood. Oh, yeah. Okay. He, got he got fucked, fucked up, up bad. I was expecting to almost like take off his robe and like do some kung fu. I was ready for it. Dude is not weak. No, no. <laughs> and they, they keep showing little like Easter eggs. They're like, this dude's faking his his cripple because yeah. he'll be walking all hobbled. But when he's getting dressed, all he's like all standing up normal, and he can still fuck, throwing deep stroking <laughs> bitches and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> down the <knees. laughs> so then they trick the, the the number one lieutenant to go in, and then they they he sees that there's some light at the end of the tunnel, and there's this old school time bomb and everything. No, 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 hold on. So first, <laughs> I mean, they lead him, they lead him down there, and then some kid out of nowhere, like he picks up like a there's a what do you call it? Torch? Fucking torch. Shit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, there's a torch in the ground. So he picks it up and he's looking around to see where the kid went, and all of a sudden, a kid out of nowhere just fucking Shank. pretty shanks his ass right in yep. his fucking kidney. Yeah. yeah, he falls to the ground like a bitch. Well. Well, not really a bitch. I mean, he did get fucking stabbed in his yeah. kidney. Yeah. So, and he can't walk no more. Yeah. And so, like, he's he, then he sees in the distance, he sees, because there's barrels on As soon as he went down there, I knew where the fuck he was. Yeah. I, I was like, the wildfire. Yeah, that's where that shit is. Because you see barrels around him, and then uh, he looks in the distance, and he sees, like, three little candles. Yeah. And they're in that wildfire shit. Yeah. That, and then, like, he's trying to crawl, like, put it out. And uh, right when he gets there. That was some old school, oh. old school time bomb type shit. Yeah. yeah with some was. wax candle. So, like, so, meanwhile, Homeboy's trying to crawl to the candles, and and Queen Marjorie is like, sir, she's not here. She's not coming. If you think that she's on her way, you're foolish. We need to get everyone out. And, and because the High Sparrow didn't listen, she was like, fuck y'all. I'm, I'm leaving, leaving with my brother. Deuces. But yeah. they didn't let her they leave. They wouldn't yeah. let her leave. Let her leave. Let she's like, leave. Let us pass. Is she the one that fucks her brother? No. 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 Her brother's no. How dare you say <laughs> That's the only episode I ever saw. And <laughs> then, uh, so seriously decided to separate church from state. Yeah. yeah. And, and one good blast it's in the church to the sky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Biggest yeah. explosion I've seen on the show so far. Oh yeah, it was fucking huge. Cool. Cool. I literally Send thought the whole course. city was gonna burn. Yeah. Even even like the scene with the with the dinosaurs. What the fuck? What the show, show are you? Because this is a watching show. He's yeah. Yeah. Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's, like it's like me listening. Tinas. It's like me listening to you guys talk about goddamn Flash and. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fucking God. red or blue, purple arrow. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So, kaboom yeah. happens. Cersei just enjoys another sip of wine. Yeah, as she's and you watching the fuck her, like, part of her scene. I'm in, I'm in shock. Like, yes. Because the red wedding didn't shock me as much. I knew Joffrey was going to get killed. This hurt me deep. This reminded me of, like, when the viper got killed by the mountain. I, oh. you know, I had my open <laughs> mouth type thing. I was yeah. just like, fuck. So that happens. Then we go back to the to the well, king chambers. We see the we see oh, the he got oh, vaporized. Yeah. Vaporized. Yeah. Yeah. And we see everyone in there get vaporized and bodies yeah. get blasted. Sparrow out deserved there. much worse than yeah, that. They, yeah, they ain't coming back. Yeah. Well, somebody's getting much worse. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. So then we go back to the uh, to the king's chambers yes. and everything, and he realizes how much bitch assness he's yeah. brought upon himself. His, his push and he go. jumps out the window. A diving team. He put, put his <laughs> he put his crown down and just stepped and out. said, "Fuck y'all." That was 
done so well, by yeah, the way. It, it was, was like, he puts the crown down. You don't really know what's happening. It's kind of, they give like a 15 second just like scene out the window. And I'm like, am I, am, I, I was he, like, he, is he, my he thing walks, Yeah, he walks off of camera. Yeah. yeah. And it's I'm looking at him like, my shot. And yeah. he walks back in it. And then you're and like. And the next thing you know, he's just on the perch. And he just. Just drops. Moves. And I was like, holy shit. Westeros gold, diving team gold medal. First 15 <laughs> minutes of that, that thing was just bananas. Mm-hmm. And as you realize, that's all three of the kids. Of yeah. The Lannisters they got gone. no lineage. So, and that, and no they, lineage they with them. Prophesized, prophesized too. Yes. Yep. And no lineage with, it. with them. Even with um, the Tyrells, their lineage is gone. Yes, mm-hmm. that's right. So yeah. why, did, why did he kill himself? Because he lost he, everything. He basically. lost, yeah. Yeah. lost, lost wife. his wife. He yeah. lost his power. And I think he was also scared of his mama. Let, yeah. Let's oh, be real. Yeah. yeah, he set his mom up for that dumb bullshit trial. The mom blew the shit up to Kingdom Kong. Yeah. yeah. So uh, after that whole thing happens, Cersei starts waterboarding with some wine <laughs> on, uh, on the shame lady. And Dang, she was great. Got yeah. her tied down to the table. So uh, the mountain. I thought she was going to strip her naked, though. Well, she should. Yeah. Well, I think I alluded to that. But um, it, I think that one of the best parts is when she was like, you know, I'm, I'm ready to die. And she's like, oh, you're not going to die. She's like, <laughs> she's like, for real? She's like, today? Uh, yeah, you're not today? Die today? No, yeah. no, I got, I got plans. You're not dying today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, she, the thing about that scene also is that Cer- the one thing that, that uh, Nun wanted from Cersei, she finally got a confession. Yep. She a real confession. Yep. Everything. Oh yeah. She can. She's like, I like to fuck. I, I love like feeling yeah, my brother like, inside me. Yeah. She's I was like, like oh, because it feels good. I was like, ooh. Good. I love fucking my brother. Oh. I love him inside. I was like, so oh, wait, we're talking about a brother and sister fucking, right? Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. we're yeah. fucking <laughs> twins. Yeah. They're fucking twins. Yeah, I didn't know that part. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, they're twins, right? Yeah. yeah. I think they're fraternal twins. Yeah. Jesus Christ. She loves him inside. She loved. She talked about all the people she loved killing. Yeah. All the she said she set up her husband. She killed her husband because he did this. She didn't like that. Yeah. yeah. That she, dude was busting them DNA fucking scrambling nuts. Yeah. yeah. That's why they didn't have hemophilia goddamn Cyclops kids. Yeah. 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 Real. It went bananas for just it, the first 20 minutes so and everything. Then, so then she brings in the mountain before she leaves and she's like, you know, I'm not really much for religion and I don't believe in God, but uh, the mountain, he's your This God is now. your God. Yep. Yeah. 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 And, and he, he, took, takes, he took his helmet off. Yeah, he took yeah. his helmet off. So this is the first time we see him since that battle yeah. with with um, the Viper. Yeah. Yep. And you see his face is all, like, you don't see, you see enough. Yeah. You zombie. I thought his face would be yeah. a little bit more fucked up. I thought, it would, I thought he'd have, like, a split down the yeah, middle. Yeah, like a but friggin' you, sign. You do see his eyes, like, widened over, and, like, half his face is, like, kind of, like, scarred and ripped or whatever. He's zombie, he's zombie he fight out. zombie out. And yeah. then he's, like, he's, like, standing over, and she's screaming. God damn, Blue, stop I, adding shit. And I was I'm not like, adding any shit. Okay. God dang. And I was, like, <laughs> he's about to zombie fuck this shit. Like, he has a Franken dick. Yeah. He's gonna rape her with this Franken dick, yeah. pretty much. I'm all in favor. Yeah. Fuck that bitch. Aww, so then, cause, and then after that, pretty much we go to the next sort of storyline, which is the uh, Jon Snow Sansa. Uh, he's now. I thought we went to Marine first. Oh well, it jumped around a lot. Like we're not we're not in chronological we're not in chronological order. Yeah. yeah. All right, for sure. Go ahead. Um, oh, with the sand snakes. Is that what we're talking about? Kind of. No, we did go to no that's, that's not a marine. Marine is where uh, no, Daenerys no. is. Yeah. Are you talking about, about tremors now? Yeah. Fucking no. shit. We get all <laughs> fucked up. No, because we went because we know that uh, Varys left. We didn't know where, and we right. see Dorne. We haven't seen Dorne since the very first episode. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. then we see him there. No, I thought we did because there's another one where he, there wasn't the first episode where he, where he got stabbed in the chest. No, Dorne, the city of Dorne, where the three the girls. Yeah. Guy got, that was the season. The, the, yeah, guy, was like, oh, the guy got stabbed in the face in one episode. Then there was another episode where no, where the king got stabbed in the chest. That was later on in this episode. King this got stabbed in the chest. Then his son get a spear in the face. That was, was the that same episode. That's no, that was the same episode. Okay, episode. and then also when they poison, give her the um, the daughter, yeah, Len, the right. Lannister daughter, the yeah. kiss goodbye. So we uh, we've been there briefly. Yeah, real real quick though. The, my favorite thing about Dorne this time, the that bad. old grandma oh. yeah. clapped back. So my mother in law. Yeah, my mother. Law. She clapped shit. back so hard on them Doran girls that were not the eldest. Uh, yeah. All three of y'all. Yeah. She put no respect on them. <laughs> yeah. She was no like, respect. you look like a boy. You ain't shit. And bitch, do you yeah. have something to say? Uh, I didn't, didn't think she so. Did. She said, I don't think so. Let yeah. the grown folk talk. Let yeah. grown folk talk, yeah. child. I, I had to pause the fuck. That's some old school black yes. mama type yes. shit. Yes. Yeah. I was sick, like, though. yes, grandma. Yeah. I, yes. I love her fucking Go get us some Kool-Aid, goddamn. I love her character, though, because she tells people like it is. She 
have no fucks. Yeah. And she's like, I have no future. It's just about revenge now. Yes. yes. Yeah. All, she, all, her grand, all of her kid, grandkids are dead. And, and she knows who did it. Yeah, Again. Did it. Yeah. And she's like, you don't want revenge. Like, I don't yeah. see how the fuck they're going to survive. Because, I mean, like, pretty much the biggest armies left all teamed up. And they're going to go after Westeros. Yeah. Like, there's there's no way they can win. Well, like, there's, there's nobody there to lead the army. There's not that much of an army anyway. I agree. Like, oh. All you have is Jamie, really. That's it, right? Yeah, yeah that's that's it. And, well, and that other dude. But, he, I mean, that, they can't lead an army like that. I mean, no. yeah. and, and I don't believe Cersei truly has the military strategic mind, no. even like uh, Tyrion. You Wait, know? We're, we're jumping ahead, though. Sorry. You got, yeah. Um, so, quickly with Daenerys. Daenerys told the simp that he's, uh, <laughs> he's going to be a side dude for the rest of his life. <laughs> and you can't come with me to my new city. Yeah. And he's like, but I love you. I don't care. I want to be your side chick. And he, side she's mate. like, side, side whatever. He, yeah. he was acting like a bitch. It was like, she was like, hey, I can't bring my bottom bitch. Yeah. yeah. You gotta go. Yeah. Put that I, dick on a shelf. I'll be back for it later, yeah. Big Daddy. I've been bringing Sam to the beach. I got I got big goals. I got big girl goals. And she told him, she's like, I gotta get married. He's all, oh, fuck. Well, let me come with you anyway. I can get you dick she, on the She's side, like, no, so, you're no. gonna fuck this up for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, you're gonna be up in your fields. Yeah. So she dismissed them without even a goodbye kiss or fuck. Nope. Yeah, no. Nope. She, yeah. she pulled the fucking knee on the matrix. She's like, <laughs> miss me with them feelings. <laughs> 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 yep. yeah, so then she goes outside, talks to Tyrion. Tyrion gets all emotional because he's got he, he's not good at consoling, which was pretty funny. Yeah. He didn't know good shit to say, <laughs> and so he finally got up some 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 inspirational shit. It was it was pretty yeah. cool to see. So and now he's the king. He's the hand. He's the hand queen. of the queen. Well, shout out to Tyrion though. He has not been fucking whores for a long time in this season. He's no been horse horse. Horse. Yeah. He don't drink it, but I mean, yeah. he probably had some whores come up. He's been trying to do comedy with with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to tell jokes, jokes and shit. And shit. with Grey Worm. Yeah. yeah. So pretty much, yeah. And then so in my new bay, that, that, that waifu. Oh, uh, yeah. So apparently, bad. in this season, um, they talked about some shit that hasn't been talked about in the books yet, and yeah. that's who is the real parent of Rob Snow. Yeah, it's, John, John, it's, it's, John, it's already John been speculated. Yeah, I guess yeah. It, people have speculated, book readers, but it was pretty much confirmed in the show. In the show, and he is. On, well, let, let's yeah, it say it. Go, say oh it. His no, uncle? Don't say it. Talk about how we led up to it. <laughs> well, I could say the lead up. So basically, Bran. So apparently, Bran can go if he touches like the, the those crying trees. Yeah, yeah. he can go in the past. Forget the name of it. Yeah. yeah, it's like the tree for like the one god or some shit. Yeah, like one god tree. Yeah, old gods or some shit. Anyway, he can go back to the past. He went. He went back in the past. To where um, that one badass fight scene where that dude with the two swords was fucking everybody yeah. until he got stabbed like a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but because uh, Ned stabbed in the back, right? Yeah, no, his, no, friend, his friend, friend stabbed did. in the back, yeah. and Ned, Ned did the, ki- the kill shot. Yeah. yeah, and so Ned goes up to to some lady that just gave birth and is dying, bleeding the his fuck sister. out. His sister, right? His, his sister, his sister? Yeah. yeah. And so apparently he whispered the na- she whispered the name into his ear of who the kid was supposed to, like the name of the kid, and it was pretty much alluded to that it was. Uh, John Snow. Snow. Yeah, so it's a Bar- he's a Baratheon. He's a Targaryen. Targaryen. He's a Targaryen. And a Baratheon. No, he's a right? Targaryen. No, she. Ned, that's Ned Stark's sister. Okay. So it's a she Targaryen and a Rhaegar, Stark. Targaryen. Rhaegar, Stark. Okay. Rhaegar Targaryen uh, supposedly raped her. No, no, no. Well, Rhaegar was the, the. He's the Mad King. Was that the, the Mad King, or, Mad or, King or, or the yeah. brother of Daenerys? Who was the brother of Daenerys? He's Daenerys dead. was the dude that got his got gold, gold. dipped in. Yeah, he's yeah dead. What, what was his name? I thought it was I Rhaegar. Don't know his name. No. Yeah. Rhaegar's their father. Yeah. So I'm Rhaegar, sure, I'm Rhaegar, sure Kevin will tell us in all fucking caps. Yeah. <laughs> Yelling at us. Yeah. yeah. So Yelling Rha- at black Rhaegar people. basically got Ned Stark's sister, so Jon Snow is really Jon Targaryen. Yeah. So Jon he Snow. is the rightful heir to the yeah. throne. Male heir, even though it, this whole time we thought Daenerys had the royal lineage. Yeah. But she does. She kind of does. She does. So the Daenerys and Jon Snow are half-brother, half-sister. Yeah. Wow. So then we go to uh, Jon Snow, because they zoom in on his face, and then old-school Emma Frost comes in, because <laughs> she's got that imaginary necklace that makes yep. people see shit. And uh, she gets confronted on her burning the little girl, mm, which she I've been do. waiting on for a good that little bit. That was a great acting scene. I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. And, yeah. She, had, hey, she didn't deny what she did. Nah, she didn't. She did and not deny. She tried 
tried to be like, oh, well, I did this for you. You wouldn't be here and all this. Dumb. And he's like, well, what did, what did he fucking accomplish? Everybody's like, dead Everyone's anyway. dead. You said he was a true Brathy or Stannis true, Brathy yeah. was a true king. She, and- she had one good point, and I don't like her, but she did say both Stannis and the child's mom gave that fucking kid up, too. They did. And, and they didn't give a shit about that little girl. Well, it... I'm just yes, saying. yes. She did point that out, and they did do that. You got a legit witch, though. That True. Perf- gave birth to a smoke ninja <laughs> out of a pussy. <laughs> so she's got some validity behind her what she says. That evil pussy. And she had pussy. an STD, a sexually transmitted demon. <laughs> <laughs> Paragon. Yes. <laughs> so I, I like the move Jon Snow did. He didn't kill her. He, he sent the hanger. He's he banished his bitch. He banished her. He did like a Rick Carroll type thing. Yeah, he and said, he's like, you got us to go. He said, kick rock south. Yeah. Yeah. he said, ride south. Kick rock, you pound come back salt. north, you're getting hanged. If yeah. I see you or heard that you're here, you're getting hanged. Yeah, because what's his name was about to handle that. Oh, on yeah, he's about ready to pull out that yeah. sword and cut that bitch. Yeah, so then we go to the to the meeting hall and everything, and uh, everyone's there. All, all the people that realize, yeah, uh, we should have been squatted up with Jon Snow from yep. the get go. And little homegirl, yes, her name. She's oh, she's Lil- a, she's Liliana Mormon, yeah. yeah. Mormon. Mormont. Mormont. Yeah. She's fucking. I love. She's she awesome. steals the show. Like it, I mean, steals the scene in like everything that she's doing. Just her face. I'm watching. I'm like, say something. Say something. <laughs> she gets up and she just starts calling out people. And you and, ain't shit. Yeah. You ain't shit. Yeah. Yeah. You played your people. You did that to them. We answered the call. <laughs> I was like, yes. She's all. You guys refused the call. We came up. Yeah. Hey, if she had dragons, there'd be no show. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Oh y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. So. Yeah. Yeah, she so she gets everyone to pretty much realize, yeah, King of the North, Jon Snow. Meanwhile, Carcetti from The Wire is sitting in the background, hating because he's trying to. And Sansa gave him that that swerve, that turn cheek Ooh, kind of thing yeah. when he was trying to uh, slip her that tongue. Yeah, he's, he's like, like, oh, like, nah, bitch. They, you want to follow the true Stark or the, or the uh, the bastard from the South? And he leaned in. I was like, don't do it, bitch. Don't I'm do it. Down. And she swerved, but still gave him that that whole call. She's she's sort of squatted up in terms of her like street smart. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, she's way leveled up. Yeah, well, she should learn how to get raped and shit, <laughs> like, yeah. sold and shit. She, she learned the hard, yeah. hard way. But you forgot the favorite, the new title for Jon Snow. Which is yeah. the White Wolf? The White Wolf, oh, okay. the King of the North. Yeah, that's so a fucking badass. So is it? Is, so is it? Is it? Was white. Yeah, it's yeah. an. Where's old, Ghost? Uh, yeah. Ghost is dead. dead. Yeah. Ghost is dead. dead. No, it, when did Ghost die? He died defending. defending so yeah. when they were uh, at the at keep, the, at, the, at the watch, at the yeah, at the no. Wall. Yeah, it was at the no, wall. no, no, no. Because when they brought Jon Snow back to life, Ghost was in that room. Uh, Ghost was growling at the door when when they were trying to get in. I thought after that, didn't they have a battle after that? Maybe no, maybe. Uh, uh, John Snow started uh, hanging motherfuckers. Kevin, tell us. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Ghost? Yeah, where is Ghost? All right. Yeah. Maybe so uh, that happens. Then we go to Squid Family uh, preparing the ships. Yes. Or am I forgetting something? Yeah. Oh, the Squid Family. <laughs> I, I, this, talked about the this uh, like uh, Ironborn. I, this yeah. is like me yes. describing anime. I just, yes, keep, it, I just keep it moving. Yeah, so yeah. with Theon and his and Theon his and sister. his sister that you tried to finger in like season two. Yeah. I didn't realize it was his sister. That was awful. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the incest going on in the show, goddamn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, the, the guy has no dick either. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Cockless. So they got the ships all squatted up and yep. everything ready to go. With the Dothraki on there, too. With the Dothraki. Yeah. And there's some other, because when I watched it the second time, there's some other sigils that are in the, uh, and I don't, I'm not the that well versed. Yeah, the Unsullied, unsullied and, and the Marine. But I'm talking about on the sails. There's supposed to be stuff from like other families, yeah. I yeah. guess, on Well, there. they got a new banner with the dragons, too. Yeah. Well, no, the Targaryen banner is the Targaryen. Uh, but they put that that flaming ass dragon on the I, I don't remember Assassin's Creed 4 <laughs> was the whole the the yeah whatever port it star, is I know port is oh, left know starboard's about. right the bow the bow right? yeah the bow the, the ship they the put that mean ass dragon <laughs> yeah, the poop dragons poop. Are, are in formation doing fucking uh, dragon shit weave, weave <laughs> drills and shit dipping yep. wings in the water saying we coming well again she has an air force with the dragon she yes a navy, a navy. with the ships and an army with the Dothraki on, on horseback too. She has to do some hardcore fucking up to 
make this even like a challenge of a, of a takeover. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it looks like she should win easily. Yeah. So, so how see. the fuck did Varys get from Dorne back to Marine? So yeah, that's back. some bullshit. Yeah. It's just that's it's, it's okay though. It's, it's a minor fuck. He can teleport. <laughs> um, we're leaving out one cool thing though. What you got? One of my favorite parts, and I knew what was gonna happen before it happened. Is the part when that goddamn asshole that did the red wedding. He oh, got it. oh my oh, god! Oh, fucking yeah. I totally forgot about Arya. Yeah. Shit! I'm so oh, mad at myself. Give it away now, goddamn it! Set it up. Anyway, get it. So that motherfucker was uh, the, phrase. the phrase. Yeah, he was eating. He was eating his dinner alone and shit. There was just like a super hot looking waitress. Uh, waitress that was like serving him and yeah. shit, and serving him some pie. And as soon as uh, like as soon as they were start talking, I was like, that's fucking Arya. Mm. I was like, you never, you realize that from the beginning when when they were not when okay. they were smiling. Like I, w- once he, once they started a conversation between okay. the, the main Frey guy or whatever, right. I was like, that's fucking Arya. Yeah. When he slapped that ass so and squeezed good. it, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, he set I, it up. I knew was something asked. was up because Jamie saw her and he was like giving her the eye a little bit, and he was like, mm, this. I thought he was gonna try to smash, but yeah, that was that, that was a shit, but a sister, man. That was Arya scoping out the fucking assassination yeah, oh, yeah. plot. Sure was. So anyway, like he was eating some uh, some meat pie and he was saying how it was good and he's like, oh, you want some more? And he's like, oh, um, I forget what the fuck she said. Or basically, he's like, he was, he's like where's my son? Yeah, and then she points. And she's to like, like, they're right here. Yeah. He's like, I don't see him. And I was like, is this some magic spell? <laughs> where he's gone. Yeah, I knew. She's like, they're right here in this nice pie. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. And he pulls and the pie crust up and there's a, he's a finger or a toe or something. Yeah. There's a fingernail in there. I was like, damn. And then she takes off that fucking face because she's got that uh, yeah. the many face god thing. Yep. And then slits his fucking throat. Oh man. I was like, and she's like, remember when I told you be the last face I see? Slit his fucking throat. Looked at him the whole time. Yep. yep. You know what's crazy is that I think it would have been worse if she let him live knowing that he should just ate his fucking son. Nah. <laughs> like, nah. I, think she, I think she was she went easy on him by Slice so that, that guy had to die. Yeah. yeah. Like, he, he killed his uh, her family. Yeah, like, pretty much. Brutally. And oh, like the heir to the king. I'm so, so curious now going into the next season like was that just a one time face thing that she had or does. I think she I has that she skill. Has skill. Oh, I yeah. think she has okay. that skill from now on. Because when she left the, the mini face god house it's like it was sort of like a head nod, like a respect kind of thing. Oh yeah, she earned that respect by killing okay. that one uh, Terminator bitch. Yeah. Yeah. She <laughs> was a Terminator bitch, <laughs> jumping off his shit. Oh uh, yes. Fast. So yeah, I right. forgot about that. And they squatted up. They're rolling the sea. And she was smiling after it too. She's like, "This is the last face you're gonna oh, see, man. We'll cut you." Oh, it, was, man. it was a fucking fantastic season. It's I loved great. everything about and it. And it's the last two episodes have been epic. They amazing. were stellar. Epic, amazing. They were stellar episodes. Holy shit. I, we're yeah. gonna have to uh, discuss this season as a whole because I, I hear it's only going to be maybe two more seasons left. Well, they need to write another book. So yeah, yeah, they're out of material. But in terms of like show wise, this is like top two for me. The Wire was always number one for me. This is they I put, need to see they our put money up. in this. The Wire didn't have any money in no, it. This, yeah. this is this, got a this, this is great. I'm, I'm glad. I just need to make sure I stay alive the next. It's like watching a goddamn movie every. every it really week. is. Yeah, yeah. I agree. it's an event. Yeah, this ep- this past episode was like almost ninety minutes. All right, so it was great because yeah. they managed to fit all the stuff in. I thought it felt like an hour. Okay. No, it was an hour. No, it was more than it was like an hour twenty. So hour. we the th- the uh, it also ended with we see that uh, Cersei inherits the Iron Throne. Uh, yeah. yeah. So she is crowned queen of Westeros. And Jamie's given now. some looks like he he's like, oh, is, you bitch, you fucked up. It's gonna, gonna be an interesting up. dynamic that plays out between the two of them from now. Mm-hmm. So when you have the Iron Throne, do you have to like like take iron shits? Oh, <laughs> like giant damn. fucking toilet. God damn. All right. Damn. Uh, jokes. Should we uh, should we ask some of the ask B than BTI questions? Yeah, we got a shitload of them. Yeah, yeah we should. Not have these Kevin. Uh, since Kevin uh, Kevin asked the whole shitload. <laughs> um, so we got one for Blue. It's uh, if oh shit, the direct. Yeah, some of them are direct. Cool. If the Earth Two version of Blue was a supervillain, what would his powers be? Um, it would be like Earth One's powers. Uh, I would be able to like teleport and uh, and do mind control shit and. He would only be able to use those powers when he's drunk. I was gonna say, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but only when only when he's fucking drunk. Yeah, he powers up by going make, to beer fest, making poor decisions, yeah. teleporting <laughs> into the sun and shit. 
<laughs> nah, but he'll be smart enough not to do shit like that. But he'll be doing some some crazy funny oh shit. Oh my but, god. Yeah, like you know, the funny thing when I when I like was looking at this question, it made me think like I think a lot of people that had superpowers, I think the bad shit they would do would always be like robbing banks and shit. Like I don't think anybody would do like like super villain type shit, like taking over continents and murdering a bunch of people. Oh, uh, if I was a super villain, I would. Yeah, you would? oh fuck yeah, that's over the government first. I'm sure. Yeah. All right, hmm. I guess I'm wrong then. I'd do some uh, Kira stuff. From Death Note and kill out some of the uh, other uh, criminals. Yeah, and I guess, then go to the government and then yeah. Yeah, I guess I would take out some criminals. Well, yeah. th- that's what most of the criminals are, though. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> One and the same. Backwash politicians and shit. <laughs> All right, what else we got? All right, two. Uh, Stitch, as a former LA resident, is in Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Can you confirm that the West Coast have <laughs> no idea about gumbo, about what gumbo really is? <laughs> I will um, keep it real, and I have not yet had West Coast gumbo. Okay. To taste, just seeing based on the description <laughs> and the ingredients that you people are poisoning it with, <laughs> I am very biased on what it would potentially taste well, I like. Well, I've got a traditional like Alabama gumbo. So, okay. Yeah. I but I'm I'm going to hold my full comments and reviews until I actually get Prodigy to make said gumbo. It shall be done. Okay. okay. Well, cool. Well, speaking of Prodigy, why do you hate women? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin got me. Uh, I do not hate women. I got my Winona Earp shirt on tonight. Earp. Misogynist. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I do not. I love You I bought love it from a woman, too, right? Yes, I did. A, a female but, artist. But how you bad, bought it from her? Did you make her make it? Yeah, no <laughs> how bad did you beat her? Yeah. Oh, See, on a scale from zero to Ike Turner. <laughs> <laughs> She was in the God. kitchen, and I told her to eat the cake. But Chris, Chris, Chris Brown to Ike Turner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, did you force yourself upon so, this so, one? So, so oh, no, no. Still keep the goddamn shirt, bitch. So, uh, <laughs> old Ninja, do you get the early bird special at IHOP? Oh! I'm banned nationally from all IHOPs. God damn. For being too urban. Oh! Are you are you more of an IHOP person or a Denny's? Denny's. Okay. I'm just yeah, curious. I, I hate old people, so yeah, I'm all over Damn. Denny's. All right, we got one for this you, though. Is one for all of us, actually. Oh, what you got? Uh, choose one to eat for the rest of your life. McDonald's, Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, Carl's Jr., or Sonic. Taco Bell, motherfucker. Yeah, damn, what you don't like hell? your own asshole, huh? Oh, yeah. love oh, me some Taco Bell. Dude, I haven't had, I haven't Taco had Taco Bell, Bell in five years. Taco yeah. Bell's food of the gods. Oh, <laughs> fucking, you in California you eating that garbage. fucking dog shit yeah. Mexican food. I'm going to take oh. Chick-fil-A. Even though, even though I hate their politics and all that, but I... I, I you like your chicken extra racist. I like racist. my chicken. You, you <laughs> extra racist You going to start on Sunday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you are. I'll fast every Sunday. Uh, Carlos Jr. is my, okay. my go-to. Like, if I had to, because I don't really eat a lot of fast food. Yeah, you, yeah, you eat have kale to. and yeah. healthy shit all the time. Yeah. I mean, if I had to, I guess Carlos Jr. Out, out of those... Because it's got, like, the bigger menu, you know? I mean, I love Chick-fil-A, but, like, the menu's very limited, and they're closed on Sunday. Sonic is good, though. I want to say Sonic's got the best chili dog. I've never been to Sonic before. They got one in in Hayward. Well, yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's the thing. Like, they're not really too much around here. Like, there's one in Uh, Hayward. There's one in fucking Gilroy. Gilroy. Yeah. Yeah. You go there, and you push the button, you order, and the girl comes out on roller skates and brings it to you. I really go to Hoover. That's how my favorite porn starts, too. (laughs) Yeah, right? (laughs) Isn't that from uh, Boogie Nights, right? Yeah, roller girl. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess if I had my choice, I would say probably Carl's Jr. All right. My favorite. Kronos, what you got? Was he said Carl's Jr. Uh, uh, no, oh, for your next question. question me, okay. So the question's for him. Wait, yeah. what do I should, well, I'll read it. Go ahead. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is, oh, motherfucker. Yeah. Where is it? Number six? Oh, so I Kronos. ain't fucked your mother before. <laughs> oh, so Put some respect on my name. How much Haterade does he... Does, how much Haterade do I have to have drink, to drink in order to <laughs> hate on Flash? For no reason. reason. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine this scene. You're, you're say you're like going down to San Diego. You're on the five freeway. And there's nobody around. You're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Out, even outside of goddamn Fresno, and you see a trucker at a truck stop, and he pulls out that big ass fucking gallon size fucking drink, and he fills it up <laughs> about that much. Damn. 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 <laughs> I have no hate actually for the flash. I, I just don't want to fucking start it. Like it's it's, it's one of those things where it's, it's too far in already. It's really I missed the fucking boat. Do you have more hate <laughs> for Flash or Arrow? I don't have hate for either. Really, okay. I'm just fucking with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's gone on for too long, and I just been like, ah, oh, fuck it. I, I mean, Green Arrow. I, honestly, I have very little care to watch that show. Um, the Flash seems interesting, but uh, I just have too much shit to do, man. Yeah. No, it's, it's only two seasons. It's only two seasons, really? Yeah. yeah. The Flash, but there's 
four seasons of Arrow. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Kevin asks, how many white people does it take to screw with a light bulb? God yeah, damn it. The answer is none. They'll just hire some Mexicans. Oh, and just, you're a I heard the privilege does it for them. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it, it depends on what light bulbs and where they're screwing it into. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah, right, we, we've seen those fucking, the one guy, one jar thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah, probably yeah. got a light bulb one. That was sure. like episode oh. like three. Yeah, you ever watch that show, uh, Sex Send Me to the ER? Yeah, well, I've heard about it. I've well, seen some of the shit. There's like an episode where a guy had like a lug bub of his ass. So, yeah, <laughs> damn, yeah, that's yeah. Cool, cool that show is so fucking funny. All right, what what was the other one he had on here? Yeah, if uh, if you found out Donald Trump's mom's name was Martha, would you stop fighting him? Fuck no. <laughs> yeah. Hell no. Safe word. Oh, I will say though, I hear really good things about that extended edition or ultimate edition of that DC uh, Batman versus Superman yeah. show. Yeah, Actually, I, I have to buy it because uh, my daughter hasn't seen it at all. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. You know what's funny? Have you guys? Did you? I'm not sure if it's in a new uh, Spider Deadpool, but did you see the? There's like a poster in the background, and it says something about like, uh, like such and such versus such and such. This movie is so fucking boring. Or something yes, like that. they trolled them hard yeah. on the Beavis stuff. Yeah. So yeah, which is well, that, a question number ten. Uh, if you had to choose one and never see the other, would you choose hentai or VR porn? That's for Prodigy. Oh, I think this should be a for this the whole crew. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Read that. So I thought I, I thought I said it was. So the question is, uh, if you had to choose one or, and never see the others, would you choose hentai over VR porn? I'm just going to say it right now. VR porn. I we had this discussion on before the cast. That shit changed my life. I got Even though I love both, I got to have my hentai, man. You know? I don't think you've, had, see, you've seen actual yeah, seen VR porn. porn. Oh, oh, my God. I guess it was softcore, the stuff that he was showing, huh? I mean, that was just... That, yeah, it wasn't that, that was like fucking yeah. like Cartoon Network PG-13 type yeah. shit. So I can see kidneys and tentacles, right? And somebody looking directly into your eyes. Ooh. She's looking right in your, your, your soul. All right, until I have that experience, I'm still going to say hentai. Okay. So, so wait, wait, we before we go, wait, wait, quick question, uh, or quick comment. So I, I was doing a little internet exploring with the with the VR. Of course and um, I was doing a little research. You know, I got my little voter. My, for research? Yeah. 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 You know about uh, your gigabyte <laughs> hard drive. <laughs> so, I accidentally downloaded the wrong fucking video. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that can fuck you up, especially in VR. You're like, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, let me... No, 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 no. Oh, it must be so, worse. It, it was a lot worse. So I downloaded this video, and um, you're in the laundry room, and all of a sudden a guy fucking come walking in. I look down at my body. I'm a fucking chick, dude. I'm That's like, awesome. nope, nope, nope. <laughs> That's awesome. This chick was about to be fucked, and I was oh. the chick. <laughs> That's not oh. it. You almost got VR all. raped. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And that's when the, head, the headset gets locked to your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to play a game. Yeah. I'm going to show you where the wall face like goes. Yeah. It's like that alien face hugger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Have you guys seen Strange Days from back in the 90s? Yeah. That's yeah. exactly school, what yeah. that When you put on the well, headset. he raped a girl, yeah. Yeah, where he raped you. But he like, had the signal so where he feels what she's doing as he's raping her and God shit. Damn. Well, no, she feels it. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. She yeah. feels what God he was doing. Damn. Angela Bassett was very fine, right? Yeah, that, that movie that movie's actually still holds up to this day. It's actually pretty fun, though. Mm, it takes place uh, New Year's Eve, 1999. Yeah, but the hard. movie came out in '97. Okay, we got uh, some of these topics. Oh wait, 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 wait. we have one more question. Let's oh, I'm it. sorry, I missed one. What was the other uh, one? Go ahead, read it. So, if you're, where is it? Oh yeah, if you found, if you lived on Earth two, what would your go- doppelganger do? Similar or different? For me, totally different. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know some <laughs> some awful evil stuff, some terrible stuff. Oh, I would hope mine would be Stringer Bell. Oh, nice! What All right. the fuck, slanging the, uh, <laughs> destroying the community. I, I guess it. that would be your photo op. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Run us. I think it would be uh, maybe one that gave a fuck in high school. That, that's a snowball effect. I'd be a CEO by now. All so right. yeah, maybe I would have went to college instead of not going to college. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, for me, my top again probably be dead. God damn. <laughs> probably made a poor decision and died doing something stupid. Statistics. Putting, yeah. Your, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> putting your dick in uh, earth so- or sockets, sockets or something. Or something Electrical or, sockets. What you got, Or bro? just walking down the street being black. <laughs> so I think for for my double ganger, there probably would be like a fucking, like, a, like an inventor, like inventing all kind of cool ass fucking shit. Or they would be like, like an actor slash comedian, like just, you know, being out in there in the public eye. 
like oh, making people life enjoyable. That's cool. They're all good things. All right. I left that over there. So uh, if y'all want to join in next week, uh, you can use hashtag Ask Be Them BTI oh. and uh, send us some motherfucking questions and yeah, shit. Yeah, keep them coming. We do answer them, kind of. Maybe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> sort of. All right. What are we switching gears to? Let's go. You guys want to talk about uh, that, that awful Kanye famous bullshit? Let's oh go. shit. Yeah. So uh, we want to do a reaction video for uh, Kanye famous, but it was kind of difficult because there was like ass and titties in it. So we might put it up, but obviously you can't see the video on YouTube. Uh, the video was fucking awful. Like I, I don't, I didn't get it at all. Not only was it awful, but we didn't hear music for more than half of it. Yeah, it was just showing like these mannequin things that were just like kind of weird looking. Well, they look like dead bodies. L- yeah, let's yeah. be dead bodies of celebrities, and I didn't even get a sense of the it's, music behind it. But, it's supposed to, I guess. I mean, we had saw it on shitty ass quality because none of us have title or plan on trying to get title. Yeah. Um, supposedly, he's laying in a bed uh, with all these people, like pass out. Wax figurines of famous people. Yeah, I mean, they are wax figurines. I guess they're supposed to be, I guess, sleeping and everything. And from my understanding, it's based on some artistic or some artist yeah, it's like an artist. It's rendera- be, yeah. rend- rend- rendition it's of. The, it's not the first time Kanye's been tried to be artistic in that fashion. So, because he did something similar with the fashion show, he did something. Wait, with dead bodies? No, not with bodies. With awful but they're not clothes. dead bodies. They're sleeping. With his, like homeless with his hobo coat, his hobo clothes. Yeah, yeah. His, his clothes are not dope. I'm, I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> but but they're great money. for the Matrix. They're futuristic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's hobo chic. Yeah. yeah. The video is supposedly he's got like, it's him, like Donald Trump, Bill Cosby, Taylor Swift, Kim, Chris Brown, Chris Caitlin. Brown Caitlyn Jenner, Donald Trump. Yeah, all laid up in some sort of, I guess, massive king size bed, and they're all passed out sleep like they just had some, I guess, drunken orgy kind of deal. And then this song's playing in the background for about 90 seconds, and yeah. then it's a minute of silence. So we probably well, did not the f- see the entire video because it seemed like there was some stuff missing. I don't think there was extra scenes that were so drastically different from that, not drastically from what we saw. But probably more music, but still. I didn't even get a sense of the song being good. Though. Yeah, I know. So a lot of silence, the song, yeah. and I, I sort of brought this up like when I listened to his album. I enjoy the song. This video gives no like connection to what is going on or what he's talking about in the song or anything at all. It's it's almost like shock value. It's like what the fuck is going on? You don't even pay attention to what's being said or yeah, the lyrics or anything. And it's and from what I re- recall, it's like when the song starts out, it's just like the melody hmm. and everything. It's it's like the the hook. It's the chorus. It's not yeah. it's not his actual lyrics because this, this the song is really good. And I, I believe I said it if we want to rewind the tape, it's like my second you favorite song on on the so called album and everything. But I mean, he's just trying. Like I said before, Kanye does shit just for shock value That's and just thing. get people talking. Here's the thing, and it's it works. everyone's fucking talking about it. That's the thing, and people are commenting. The one thing, the one person that commented out. Uh, I kind of had to take issue with is Lena Dunham. Lena yeah. Dunham is an actress. She stars in the HBO series Girls. She's been kind of controversial herself because she's kind of outspoken and quasi-feminist, I guess. No, she's a, one of those dumbass feminists. Yeah. Like all, all these, the, the third-way feminists. Yeah. Fucking idiots. She had a so, show about no, New she, York with no colored people. She also made a comment no, with, like um, was it Howard Stern or somebody she's made a made comment about her being too of, fat? Yeah, she's made all kinds of comments. I, personally, I don't pay attention when she talks, except for this time. Okay. What else? This is so, uh, from um, Howard Stern has said this about her. Like she's oh. too fat to be on the show, and they should, <laughs> she shouldn't be naked and stuff like that. Like she's, she's naked all, all the time on the show. Yeah. Apparently she's naked. Yeah, but my thing is, I understand. Like, there's a lot of people who have done art that is, you know, could be construed as offensive or even like abusive, maybe even. All but right. they still display it as art. They still have it up in, in uh, you know, all these fancy galleries and shit. <clears throat> but she goes on to say. That she's now, this is her quote. Quote, now I have to see prone, unconscious, waxy bodies of famous women twisted like they've been drugged and chucked aside at a rager. It gives me such a sickening sense of disease. 
my thing right. about this is why is it that she's taken away that these women are being victimized when there's both male and female uh, wax bodies all in the same bed? Because she's one of those dumbass third wave feminists. Yeah, see, like she, she only sees things that the way she wants them to see, and she totally dis. Oh, keep going because because it'll make more sense what I'm going to say. So what I took away from what I saw the video is that this could have been anything. This could have been just like a major party and everyone just passed out in the same bed True. and got naked. It could have been an orgy that everyone had a great fucking time and they all busted nuts and they just fucking passed out. But she took away that this was an attack on women. Yeah. Oh, no. All well, because of is... wax figurines. One, there's no real people. It's, well, potentially Kanye may have been the only real person in the video. Okay. But well, she said something about true. teenage girls, too, right? She said it's yeah, not a good match for teen. teen. She I'm like, says she's afraid for teenage girls or some bullshit. Why? Like so, first of all, I used to watch that show Girls. I watched yeah, the first, literally like the first two seasons, and those are that's a bad example for teenage girls. That shouldn't be watching. First of all, teenage girls should not be watching that video because it's, it's, there's a bunch of naked people in there, unless they're like 18 and up or whatever. Then whatever, do what the fuck you want to do. How, but if how, you, how old is she supposed to be in Girls? I haven't. She's seen like she's a young, in a young 20s, okay. so like yeah, like just not, out of college. So she's not teenage in it. Okay. No, no, okay. no. They're all like getting. I think it's her and her friends just exploring their careers and sex and all that shit. Okay. But no, yeah, but I had to. You kind of. It's just like the show got really awful. Like it started off kind of good, but then it got really fucking bad um, because she just made really poor decisions and it seemed like somebody I just really didn't want to relate to or even see what the fuck they were doing. Yeah. Like she basically went crazy in one part of it where she would like uh, clean her ears and then push it too far in her ear and then go to the ER and shit for like no reason. I'm like, why the fuck would you, like what kind of message is that for people? And then she would like uh... fuck these random dudes and shit like all the time and she'd be naked for no reason all the time and it's yeah. just like, what the fuck are you doing? Is but there then a part of this show? No, mm-hmm. even, on, even on top of that, like she, she was dating um, fucking what the Kyridian, the guy from Star Wars. Who? Oh, Kylo Ren. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. She's dating Kylo Ren, and, and he's a fucking dick to her, and she yeah. still goes fucking back to her. Like that's not that's if you're you mean on if you're feminist like show. on the yeah, show, yeah, on the yeah. show. <laughs> if you're a feminist, like you want your character to be strong, not some weak bitch that keeps going back to some guy that yeah, she was weak as her. fuck. That's why I couldn't watch it anymore because she was just like so weird and awkward and just a weak fucking bitch. I was just like, what? The, like you, there was no real enduring qualities in the ship. Like after a while, for the main character, because she kept doing shit that was just stupid. Yeah. yeah. I was like, it didn't make any sense to me. So, so but, like, looking at the Kanye West video, like, I got the impression that sex will make you famous because everybody in there has some kind of backstory. Like, you know, Rihanna had p- photos that got leaked of her naked. Fucking Kim Kardashian had the sex tape. Ray J's on there, and they had the sex tape. But and then, Taylor like, Swift ain't got no sex tape. Yeah, but Trump. But in uh, Kanye's song, he talks about how you know, if I'm pretty sure that that uh, Taylor Swift will, will, me and Taylor Swift will fuck or something like that. So, I mean, the whole the whole video is about like, I don't know. I guess maybe exploring your sexuality, I guess. Maybe. Or maybe it's just a... Like, Kanye seems to be uh, obsessed about how people react to fame. And he's always trying to do stuff that, like, pertains to that whole being a celebrity type thing. Well, but, and I think this plays into that as well. But going back to the Lena Dunham, I don't... I don't didn't watch the girls' show. I know she's fucking retarded for her comments on it. Nothing, nothing about this video, and we saw it, and I wasn't a fan of the video. Nothing about it shows the victimization of women in any way. No, un- unlike her show. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it just it's a stretch. And it's such a stretch that it makes it sound ridiculous. It is. Um, and makes her sound ridiculous and loses all credibility. Yes. This is also the same woman, I believe, that gets too fearful to be on Twitter because of she, the hate and all she that. She left Twitter because she felt Twitter but was de- an unsafe place. But didn't she demand that Twitter change their policy to yeah, quote-unquote protect she her? Would, actually, she came here to the Bay to talk about making Twitter a safer place. Yeah. It shouldn't look. The world is not fucking safe. Yeah, so if you need a safe place, I, I don't. Don't play with some toys and shit or some shit in the corner. You can make your own fucking your world safe. Just stay off the fucking internet. How yeah. about that? Mm-hmm. Don't make the internet change for you, you stupid ass. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, Be you a fucking make, adult. You can't make everybody fucking happy. You are, yeah. yeah, you're looking at inanimate bodies just lying still, wax figures lying still, and you're you're grasping. For there's straws. no there's no movement. There's no all, movement, and all, you're saying none of them are on top of each other. None of them have hands on. On e- each other's it's, like, and it's o- it's for open interpretation and it is for, for, as it as art should be. And her parents are artists, and she realizes that. But she says this 
This but she's too stupid feels, to understand. She no, said, this <laughs> art feels different. It felt like an attack uh, or something. I shit. feel that you should shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, uh, I, know we're, I know we're mainly focused on this, this uh, Lee and Dunham chick, but uh, what do you think about Taylor Swift's take on it? Because she's fucking pissed as fuck. I, I haven't well, heard her issue a Well, actually, statement. I'd be kind of pissed, too. If somebody made a wax figurine of me, especially yeah. somebody I didn't like, and then put me in a fucking shit naked. Yeah. And especially, I don't know if you noticed, but like her boobs look all fucking weird. Yeah, troll, all troll god. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be pissed too. Yeah. So yeah. wait a minute though, if she especially if she if this blindsided her as well. Well, yeah, because I know that they were saying that she, Kanye said that he like went to her to get approval for. Shit. No, he didn't. But <laughs> well, you know, no, chance. Well, Hold on. no here, chance he went to. Here, here's he, the proof of the pudding. He though. Talked to her age pr red maybe. Here's the proof of the pudding then. Uh, Riri's in it, and next to Chris Brown, yeah, her, she's, she's, she's in the on, song. Well, it, but she's on title. Yeah, but she, you also have her naked body or whatever on there. She have any problem whatsoever that you've heard of? Uh, I don't think so. I know of. This, she she's on a song, though, isn't she? Yeah, yeah she's yeah, on a song. This is a heavy she, area of gray <laughs> that Kanye is straddling with being... Libel, Trump possibly, but with, with Taylor Swift, they're wax figurines. But he can Taylor Swift with likeness image, to other people. This is art, though, and they're they're. It is, and it's a direct. Figurines. It's a direct replication of, I believe, it's like Vincent Desart Desario's uh, painting called. Look at uh, you with the homework. Yeah, well, I when I was reading art, people were like, "Oh, this is direct replication." I was like, "What? Well, huh? What?" He probably did the video. I would. I highly doubt. No, this guy's probably dead and gone. No, nah, it's he's a, like a some sort. I don't want to say it's, world famous. I don't know the art game like it's that. Vincent like a, DeSirio's called Sleep, and it, it literally it's a direct repre- representation of his his okay. artistic thing that he did, I guess, in 2006. And he probably came something. back and did this for Kanye. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if he I don't know I don't if know he, he directly or he was inspired by it. And, yeah, because wax I don't know. take time, and you need. I mean, nowadays it's a little easier. You can 3D print, you know, some yeah, shit. I don't, I don't in your garage, but the, the video you know. ain't great. So hold on. So, so his idea wasn't even fucking original. He just yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that's even worse. Yeah, <laughs> but the thing is, people are still reacting and talking about it, and to this and day... And I've been saying... Yeah, no, go ahead. But, no, I'm just saying, to this day, people are still talking about it, and it's because Kanye, I think, like like Stacey said, he knows how to stir the shit, he and, he, and he skates so, lines. I mean, hold on. So, I, I, I realize that, you know, you're saying that he's doing it all for effect and shit like that. It's for people, it's for views, for shock value, whatever. That's true. However, I don't think that's fucking healthy for people. You know what I mean? It's for him or anybody. Like, I don't think it's healthy. Like, to push it out there just for shock value, there's some there's something, uh, I think, mentally wrong with somebody that does shit like that for just shock value. All I'm going to do time. it. Yeah, all the time. It's like, it's getting fucking old, man. I mean, he's a, he's a fucking adult. Even Howard Stern went back on a lot of his shit. That he, like, he doesn't have naked bitches on his shit no more. Like, he's calm the fuck down. It's shit that you do, like, when you want to get your name out there. But he keeps doing it. And it's like, dude, it's getting kind of old. You know what I mean? It's, like, to me, it's, it's, probably to a lot of people. I can't well, be the only one. You gotta remember, fucking uh, Howard Stern's like what sixty something now. He's done hell of shit for decades. Kanye's what 30? 33, 35? Yeah, but he's but Howard Stern start, started toning it down a long, long fucking time ago. Yeah. Like all of his shit, mm-hmm. he toned it down because he, he 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 had a plan. He did shock value to get the views. After that, he toned it down and people still loved him. Yeah. Kanye West doesn't seem to understand that shit. He's just gonna keep doing shock value. And the more I can guarantee you, the more and more he does it, the less and less people are gonna give a fuck. My case in point. Look at his last album sales. Yeah, they're not they're not as strong. I, I I would love for him to focus as much attention mentally on the music. And I haven't heard this most recent album. It could be a great album, but I haven't heard people being wowed musically in a while. Yeah. Did he win That's any awards at the BET Awards? Oh, um, shit. I, I don't even know how to, yeah. yeah. Guess it. Well, we're about to talk. We're we about to go in. We're yeah. going to transition. Yeah, let's transition. I mean, I, I think that's it for Kanye. Yeah. I didn't so, see the awards. Who did? So uh, what does B- the BTI think about the BET Awards? I didn't watch. I didn't watch it. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be for real, y'all. I don't watch BET. Yeah. Like, at all. No. None of us do. No. I watch it. I didn't watch. No, I think that come with VH1. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say, I watched that show with Kevin Hart, that uh, Real Husbands. Oh, Real Husbands. Was. I watched some of that. Is that yeah. on BET? Yeah. It was. It was. I it was VH1. VH1. I watched like three years ago, that uh, like season one and two. I thought that was VH1. Do you know what's no. fu- what show is really good? It's Dating Neck on VH1. That show is fucking us God damn it. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so we don't watch. Go ahead. Yeah, I just I'm not a fan of the, the whole channel. Like a lot of it. The last time I watched shit, it was like perpetuating stereotypes of African Americans. Mm-hmm. I don't appreciate doesn't that it, shit. Doesn't it still do that? Though? Yeah, well, that's why no. I said last time I watched. I, I saw shit from the BT Awards with the 
designer on there, and that shit was hot garbage. I was like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like, he, he wasn't even rapping his song. Like, his hype man was rapping more than he was. He did very little actual stuff. No, he, he, went tossed, he tossed the mic. Yeah, but it was like, <laughs> what the fuck you... And then people were, like, kind of clapping for him and shit. And then after the end, they were giving him kind of the side eye. But it's like, you, you cannot... You can't celebrate a person like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's high as fuck. That's what yeah. I mean. Look, yeah, are we gonna be honest? He, he's yeah. high. He's too high. I mean, he looked high as yeah. fuck in the panda video that we did the react to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. It makes me think of. I saw. Uh, you guys know Gene One, right? Yeah. 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 So I saw him live recently in concert, and um, he probably sung maybe 10 percent of his song, and the rest was audience singing it. It was him like saying like uh, like when he was doing a funny song, I was all come and ride it, and then sing the mic to the audience so for him to sing this for the rest of the audience to sing the song. And I was so pissed about that. It's like I came here to see you perform, not to see us perform. Like I can do that shit this hour and save yeah, myself no like fifty bucks. Yeah. God damn! If well, you bet me twenty million dollars, I couldn't tell you what channel BET was on my. Yeah, I, I would I be like, tell you. fuck. I, I tell you, what, it is Shark Week this week. That's what I was like. Uh, <laughs> I don't pay attention to BET. Yeah. It's it's a lot of cooning, for lack of a better word. Right, so is, is BET even relevant anymore? In my opinion, it's not relevant no. anymore. Uh, I don't think they get anywhere near the ratings that they even used to. You know what I mean? They don't have they don't have programming thing I, that that I think catches the only new. thing I remember was when I was in college it was BT after dark where I saw Tip Drill. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The last thing I remember yeah. BT being relevant. And for. some uh, broke some ass uh, uh, Miami rappers just doing booty shake videos. Yeah. Uh, booty shake video. I mean the programming I think I would imagine <laughs> from what I can tell most of it's uh, reality based and well, like a couple well, of it, movies. It, it, it's perpetuating the the degradation of of our basically our ethnicity, it really is. Yeah. From what I can see, it's all about us not uh, saving money and like investing shit. It's all about us basically being liquid, liquid yeah. cash flow for some corporation. Yeah. Buy this guy's fucking shit. Buy this guy's fucking shoes. Yeah. Like yeah. shit like that. Like buy, we don't buy we, rims. Yeah, we need less of that and more of educating our fucking youth into like how the world actually works. Tell them about how fucking credit works. Yeah. How to fucking buy a house. How to really properly finance a car. Some shit like that. Shit that actually uplifts uplifts our people, but we're not. And I think that's or how what, to start an actual business. Everyone keeps yeah, talking about anything. black-owned business. Like people that are our culture, culture that complains about you know black and why aren't they black-owned business? Well, why don't you start fucking start a business? Like, yeah, well, good. the problem is, it's like people. The same people that say that they don't teach their kids how to do. Like, yeah. they need a base for shit, right? They need base knowledge. All right, people want to talk about the white privilege thing, like it's super fucking bad. But listen, we should all strive for that same fucking privilege for our children. Like my. Daughter is going to have a better start than I did. She already does. Yep. You know what I mean? True. I want her to have that privilege of knowledge that I've gained that I passed down to her. And for people to like get in that mindset of, oh, this other ethnicity has fucking privilege. When you say that, you have it, it shuts off your mind to give that same privilege to your kids because you because you want to sit there and shit on some other people and what they got when you should be focusing on what the fuck you got, how you can make your life better and your children's lives better. Mm-hmm. And we, when we talk about privilege, we're not talking about like, oh, you're able to go out there and buy your kids a new pair of fucking Jordans. No, we're not talking about <laughs> yeah, bullshit. No. Like that, like we're talking that, about, like make, cash flow. Yeah. yeah, we're trying to make we're talking about making your your child's life better, not not just fucking material things, but like educational shit, like uh, be able to survive in this fucking day and age. Having an actual career versus yeah. a job. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Being wealthy and not rich. But they like, got the people focused different. on the like. Oh, now that I'm fucking sober, I haven't had a drink in like over two weeks now. <laughs> I can actually talk about this shit now. What you talking? When about? I was talking before about how people were focused on minimum wage. Okay. And I was oh, trying yeah. to explain it when I was drunk, and I was like, <laughs> "Fuck, I can't do this. I can't brain." <laughs> you, you were slurring. I was yeah, like, I was like right. fuck well, it. I was, I was doing a fucking drunk cast. But, yeah, I was doing a drunk cast. But, but are we going to stay on BET for a second, though? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. But they got their Sunday program with that hour of church. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's another problem, too. And I'm going to say, I know some of y'all on here are religious, but the black churches are a main reason of why we're kind of fucked up still. Oh, because yeah. people are focusing on putting money through that shit, and all you're doing is making some, some stupid-ass motherfucker mm-hmm. buy a new car in a big-ass fucking mansion. Yeah. So I, par- I partially disagree with that, because every Every church always asks for a tithe, and it's in every denomination. So. I don't understand the point. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not it's exclusive to the black church. Yeah, 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 no, 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 I know it's not exclusive, it's but I, I, don't, I don't understand the point. And it's it, it's w- it's way more deeply ingrained uh, here in, in, in our ethnicity than it is for like most ethnicities. Yeah. Like seriously, we haven't had like, a people, good people go to church <laughs> like at a at a high rate, and I just I don't understand it. So I mean, the one thing I do I will say about the church is that they're always trying to do exactly what you were saying beforehand is like. Get your house in order 
also give your house to God. But then, uh, you know, just take care of their stuff at home. But do they both. show you how to get your house in order? How are they helping you with so that? So what they do is, outside of the mass, they do have, like, many programs on how to get financially better, providing that you show up. I, I, don't, I don't see a majority. Are we BET? I I, no, we're, we're not, not really. Okay. Well, we, go back to BET, we need sorry. to come back to BET and talk about this white chick. Oh, yeah, this white chick. Okay. Uh, real quick, I just want to say that with... The white chick? Huh? I'm well, so yeah, confused. There was a, we'll talk to yeah, about anyway. Glenn, that dude, oh, Tommy. Video, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so real quick, with BET, I agree with what, what everybody's saying about them. They ain't shit. I will say this, though. There's plenty of, of real basketball, housewife, trash on even other channels, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I don't think that they're alone with perpetuating terrible programming yeah. and, and quote-unquote stereotypes. Sure. And I also don't think that they take up the mantle of saying, lying and saying, oh, we're going to always promote positive educational stuff. I think that no, they just... No, no, but they should. They just show... Yeah, it'd be nice. <laughs> it, would, it would be wonderful yeah. if they did. So, I, I just don't believe that they ever will. You but know, to have that label black entertainment television and put out trash... Well, not only trash to me, but also trash for shit ratings as well. Like, they're, they're not killing it from a rating standpoint, even with the trash, because it's not even original trash. That's the other thing, too. Like, yeah. I, oh, what, Tyler Perry they, shit. Do they have, like, one or two original programming? Probably. I, don't know. They, I mean, I they, they, maybe they do. Me, I don't know. For me, I think for them to get better, well, you do know that they are uh, governed by a bot. They're owned by a Viacom. UK. They're owned by a UK company. I thought they were owned by Viacom. I think Viacom sold them off a few years ago. They, they're owned by a, a UK based the same, in UK. They're with uh, MTV, too, right? Like, that's all the that's same. Viacom. Yeah, Viacom, Viacom for sure, but who knows if they sold off MTV. I haven't kept up with them. But I think BET needs to make programming for every genre. Genre. They need to have romance, drama, sci-fi, horror, and all have them be like bring in something for everybody. Yeah, okay, so here's the thing. It is about ROI. Uh, they're never going to do that, mainly because uh, they, don't, they, they, don't, they don't have the... Uh, they don't have ratings already, and they're not going to put money in when they don't feel like there's a sure thing for getting and ratings you can, you can based do, on that. I, you, I would love that, but they're not going to. You don't need to put big budget money into it. Just have quality shit. Yeah, they ain't going to do that. You can have, you can do quality <laughs> shit on a low budget. They just yeah. need to go off the air and go. Yeah, exactly. So nobody watched the show. <laughs> no. well, like, I, 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 I watched the rerun of it, but the, I only watched The award it. show? Yeah, the award show. Okay. I only watched it because like, somebody said they did a good tribute to Prince, and like, oh, also all I wanted to see was the Prince part, but when I was watching, I was like, "All they're doing is singing Prince songs. I'm not a fucking tribute. I'm just singing well, some other wait, songs." Wait, didn't Spike Lee come up in his Willy Wonka slash Prince? <laughs> yeah, basically. Well, he had his, his symbol was upside down too, which was weird. It's like that's kind of disrespectful. Was it upside down? Yeah, no, if you like symbol. see the pictures, the, uh, maybe the, it fell. the artist's symbol was upside down, which is like fucking like the whole cross. <laughs> What's so that's like? your homeboy. You guys had dinner together. In we New did. York. We had pizza. <laughs> New York <laughs> diner. Yeah, we, we walked across the the Brooklyn Bridge together. There. there you go. That's hilarious. That's my boy. All right. So, Mike, what's up, man? <laughs> so we have this uh, You do the right thing. God dang it. Sorry. So there's this newscaster. She's on, uh, what is it, Blaze TV? Yeah. She what goes, is Blaze TV? Is that it's a, a, only online, online? Yeah, it's an online No, only it's not thing. online. I have it on fucking my fucking uh, dish. Uh, it's uh, owned me? by... Do they have a channel? Yeah. Oh, if okay. it's on my dish, it's got a channel. I don't fucking know. What the fuck? I use dish. Do you know how cable and dish work? Yeah. <laughs> you press numbers to get the channels. Speculation. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. What was the guy's name? Uh, he used to be on uh, Goddamn Fox News Channel. O'Reilly. O'Reilly. No, Brent, some of the, the B. Th- no, I can't remember his fucking name, but he started it. They, all look, they all look alike. Not Bill O'Reilly. Oh, 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 shit. Jesus. <laughs> I forget, the, I forget their fucking name, but he started shit. it. All right. So yeah, is it, it's a news channel that yeah, most yeah, people don't channel. have. All right. Yeah. What's that? Guy? Is it Brian Gumble? No. <laughs> what the fuck? He's on HBO. He's, All right. a, he's independent now. He used to be a Republican. Uh, so this uh, newscaster named Tommy Loren or L- Lauren. All right. Lauren, she, Whatever. Uh, she hosts um, Final Thoughts. It's okay. like a, what, five minute segment or whatnot? Glenn Beck, that's his name. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's Tommy Lor- Loren. Is it Loren? Yeah. yeah. So she's uh, kind of, I want to say she's, I don't want to say radical conservative, but she's definitely conservative. Is she like Ann Coulter, kind of? No, she's Ooh, not that bad. No, no. Ann Coulter's kind of a cunty bitch. Yeah, she, she's a kind of a queen troll. Yeah. Like she'll say shit just for effect. Ann yeah. Coulter will, but not this chick? No. No, this chick, like she, she sort of believes in what she's saying. 
saying. Yeah. But you won't just say it for a fact. Okay. So mm. she she did a little segment where she blasted the uh, recipient of the humanitarian award from the BET Awards. Jesse Williams. Yeah. Oh, I did see some of that. Well, because some, some of the shit that he said was factually incorrect. Mm. So I, didn't I want to get on thing. that because I, I was, heard that was What was factually was incorrect? What did he about, say? About well, the thing, the thing about Tamar Rice. And well, no, when he was saying that more black people are killed by police than basically anybody. He said the facts say that more black people are harassed and killed than any other ethnicity, but that's not true. Oh, more, yeah, white, people more killed, white people are killed by far. Sure. Okay, like, was like, that one of her so points? Should, that's what it hit. Well, that, no, yeah. her points was some else. He's trying to say percentage, but he said more. Well, even, percent, even percentage. I mean, like if you say, if, unless you're saying that out of like thirty percent, out of thirteen yeah. percent, okay. even then, sort of the other side of the story is thirty percent of black people commit like what forty three percent of the of the violent crimes or yeah. crimes in general. So when you put that into account, it's even more negligible. Yeah. Okay. So out of a thousand, I already I did the stats already. It was like over a thousand people have been killed by the police this year. More than 500 of them were white people. More than 500. I, I hear that. But if she did, so she didn't approach that though. No, she what was she doing? She approached about him and the Black Lives Matter movement. Okay. And about how um, she talked about was Tamir, is it Tamir or Tamar Rice? Tamir. The Tamir Rice. She, yeah, the kid in Cleveland that yeah, had the BB so gun. She, she likened him to like basically giving inaccurate uh Information. So he, the Jesse Wallace, whatever his name is, he was talking about how uh, we're African American males are gunned down in broad daylight, unarmed. And she was saying, you know, a counterpoint how this uh, kid supposedly tried to take the weapon from the officer while he was there. Well, we've seen that video. No. I've I've seen the video. She mentioned some bullshit like that, so I was like, I didn't under, quite understand, but she was saying she, that. She might have been. Are you I sure not the, getting mixed mix up with Michael Brown? Well, I'm, no. I'm pretty sure the factual stuff she was talking about was the number that he, that he was saying. Yeah, and, she brought up some other stuff, but she was saying that this guy wasn't a humanitarian, that he was promoting, like, fear and not, not necessarily fear, but, like, he was teaching a wrong message to young African youth. And she was saying that he wasn't about equality like he says he is. Okay. So, did you watch the video? No. The video was like two minutes. I didn't even see the video, man. Uh, When I Googled her and found out that she was completely hating on Beyonce for her formation video back at the Super Bowl, Bowl. and hating on Jay-Z for uh, selling drugs, which he's freely admitted back in the 80s, I was like, "Mm, Uh, I see a pattern pattern with this chick. She's dating the same Rapper, um, any rapper from back in the day that rapped about something, they rapped about slinging rocks. Well, like, but it, to critique him in 2016, yes. for that, I he hasn't sung about that shit in a yeah, while. Yeah, except that, saying that I used to. So yeah. Tommy, Tommy likened the Black Panther group because that's what uh, Beyonce was saluting. She likened the Black Panther group to a terrorist group, and which is that, misguided. Yeah. And, so yeah, she had amazing. she had some of her facts kind of wrong, but. So the famous Breakfast Club, the radio show in was it L.A. or whatnot? They New heard, York, New York. Is it New York? Yeah. He's thinking it's L.A. But uh, they, he, one of the hosts on there, the one who got a Charles the God or something like that, is it Charlemagne yeah. or Charlemagne? Charlemagne. Charlemagne. That's what yeah. It is. So he showed up on her show to debate, and it's actually a pretty lengthy debate, and they're going back and forth, but they're fairly respectful to each other. But they, I don't think they saw eye to eye. Well, you know, the other thing is maybe because obviously I'm, we've all admitted that we didn't see the BET Awards. Maybe what he was saying wasn't really for her, and even if she doesn't like it, you know, he does say. I agree with. I agree that there may have been some things that may have been factually incorrect that he said. Maybe Uh, because I need I need to see the whole thing, but maybe it just wasn't for her. Well, that's true. But some of the shit that he was saying, though, it was kind of for me because I I watched his his speech. It was it was kind of fake, to be honest with you, because he was talking a lot of shit about you know uh, how how Hollywood was all fucked up and some other shit. I was just like, this guy's in Hollywood, though. Mm, yeah. Like, I mean, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you're, that, that's your bread and butter is making money off uh, off of acting, and you want to kind of shit on it. I mean, and then offer no real solutions to problems that he was really bringing up. Like, some of the stuff that he brought up was like super valid. Like, okay. I, I got it. But like, the shit about when he's when he's talking about the numbers of black people that are killed by the police, they're just factually inaccurate, and it keeps be, it keeps getting perpetuated by the Black Lives Matter movement. And it's like, if you if you're gonna talk about inequality and all that shit. I mean, cool. I mean, we get it. Like, racism still exists. People are getting shot. But don't use inaccurate numbers to get people on your side. Like, to me, that's, yeah. that's very disingenuous. And, it, and it's fucking up a lot of people. 
Like they, they're thinking that the, the problem is way bigger than it actually is. And they don't give the other side of the narrative to where one of the smallest percentages of people in this country are committing most of the fucking crimes. Not one person in Black Lives Matter ever brings that shit up. Ever. Well, so a couple of things for me. Um, I hear you on inaccuracy. I really do. Um, if, if inaccurate numbers are presented, I never like false data. I get you. But I have heard, because he was actually on the Denzel's uh, 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 podcast race. from Kamal Bell, oh, okay. like with an extended interview. And he went into a lot more detail with Kamal uh, and what's his name? Uh, Avery, whatever the other guy on there. Yeah, yeah. Avery uh, Brooks? Uh, no. Uh, that's, isn't that Uncle Phil? No, Avery Brooks is uh, Captain Cisco. Yeah, uh, well anyway, he, he, went into, he went into much more detail about um, uh, some of the things from uh, Black Lives uh, Black Lives Matter movement that I wasn't aware of. I will say it did start off with uh, basically being a response to unnecessary deaths of unarmed black men. That's what it started off with. It didn't start with some of the other pervasive problems in the black community, but I do want it to have a, a broader platform and talk about more of the uh, uh, some of the positive changes that need to happen. That's what I want. Look, you, we can we can accomplish both goals. Look, we we can go for obvious obviously. Um, the problem on the police side, which it's not as bad as they want you, as it people perceive it to be. Like it's bad, but it's like I'm not afraid to get pulled over. By, I've never had a problem with a cop in my entire fucking life. But we are ever. We live in a metropolitan area, yeah. and I yeah. Yeah, but most of these problems happen in metropolitan areas. I don't I don't hear about that shit happening in like the well, fucking but, in well, rural areas. The Ferguson in, in, and and, that's and I not travel a metropolitan area. Yes, well, it is. It's outside Ferguson, of San, St. Louis. Yeah. outside, but it's not. It's not St. Louis. It's like a Hayward to yeah, it's a, Oakland. It's a, I would consider a metro. Yeah, it's in the metro area ish. Yeah. From my understanding, it's like a small town because no. the, the, they say that the majority of the, the whole the whole police force is white and the whole community is black in the Ferguson incident. Well, that's but, a dynamic of the police department representing the community being completely different. That's completely different than and, saying it's yeah. not a metropolitan area in yeah. itself. And regardless of the color of the police officers, it's about how. How people are being treated. That, that's what it really boils down right. to. Right. So, I mean, that's, that's a problem that, that needs to get addressed. And I think a lot, and police forces have already started to do this. Um, I, I've seen a lot of stuff where they're, they're giving different training now. I, I've already told you my idea for a long time now is to have people that have traumatic events with the police officers to take a fucking back seat. I think that would generally help. Yeah. These guys are fucking stressed the fuck out. I think that's, that's seriously something that should be looked at as far mean, as like de escalating. Go ahead. But I was going to say, like, for a police officer, every day is. It's fucking life or death. Like yeah, that just, could be the know. end of the day. Like so, they're always constantly under stress. They're always like they have to constantly be alert and like you know be aware of their surroundings. And you know the, the mind needs a break from that shit. Yeah, it's it, it's hard to always be on your guard like that. Yeah, but at the, uh, like go for that side. Obviously, they're, they're pushing forward hard now. That's pretty much all they're pushing for is for shit for the police to do. But but they're not addressing the shit from our own community to do. Like how can we fucking get? Uh, our statistics down for violent crimes and crimes in general. I'll like, tell you. Like, well, I, well, I already know too. Yeah, well, we can start with some goddamn education. Yeah. Well, well yeah. I was you know gonna say even beyond that. I was you, say just stop all the trap music. No, <laughs> I, I love trap music. Future is the future. Um, chicken no, I, wings I, I, and fries. <laughs> chicken wings and fries. We don't go on dates. <laughs> um, no, but real quick, I just want to say, I think if you focus on better parenting from from the yeah. beginning, Damn. Well, it does. Yeah. You have to have, and even if it's a single parent household, yes. you have to have a parent that's willing to stay th- as a disciplinarian, one way or another, up that child that's especially a male, especially a male, in terms of not being a piece of shit degenerate. And that re- and that is regardless of your race oh, or wow. class or ethnicity, you need a good fucking parent to be in that ass. Yeah. You don't have that? You're going to be fucked as a community. Well, yeah. Come at me. You definitely need that, but then, like, you know, the problem is, is that, like, parenting is based off of pretty much your, your life experience. So you have to, like, understand that you have to better your life. Like, you have to, I guess you have to put in the, the work to change, you know, what you've been brought up from. Yeah, whatever it takes. Whatever yeah. it takes, it start, a lot of this starts at home. Yeah. Even beyond the schools, even beyond the, the uh, streets, the lack of employment. You, If you have a degenerate kid and you're letting them lay their head in your home, regardless of how poor it is or whatever, 
that's a problem for everybody. Well, I, it's I, definitely the home and the community. I think uh, definitely, I mean, this is going to sound like a public service announcement, but role models for sure. I mean, oh, yeah. if, if the Quan who's slinging bricks <laughs> on your corner is your role model, there's something wrong there. Yeah, well. Because if, if you have your 10, 12, 14 year old kid that wants to be like the Quan because he sees the Quan with his fucking, you know, his brand new charger or Camaro and some 30 inch rims on it and you know it Rocking looks good to Jordan. a kid and the kid's like well yeah I want, I want that too I want to have money like Quan did and still need good parents. yeah so I mean <clears throat> that needs to change also so that parenting comes in yes but I mean it's it, for me it's everything I don't yeah, give a it's, fuck it's around for me too because I've seen too many kids get fucked by shitty parents man yeah it, like seriously if you're, if you're not starting and focusing on that if we're dancing around that issue then I, I, to me miss me with all the other peripheral stuff oh you know down the road there's there's not enough fresh fruit nah start at home you know I, I believe I, I hear you on that but I still think that uh, even kids that are on the great path can still be swayed by the dudes that are in the community or say hey little man you know you're doing all this yeah this. but but if Look we're all wait hold on but if we're all good parents and we teach our, all of our kids to be you, you you'll never have the bad kids there you go exactly. oh, hey, some yeah. dudes got that mess no, 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 no parents and I, I feel like I, I don't want to completely Messages. talk out of pocket being uh, one of the people on the podcast that I'm not a parent. But you got a dog, itself. though. <laughs> it's not a child. All you motherfuckers that have pets, they ain't fucking children. I just said I said I'm talking out of pocket I know, because I'm... I'm <laughs> I, don't, I don't have kids, dude. What but the fuck? <laughs> I don't have any right now. That you claim. Oh! <laughs> Pull out game strong still. Oh, shit. Hey, I've been dodging ba- like the Matrix. Uh, uh, yeah. I think as... And like I, with that whole preamble, I think that as a parent, you should be the you should aspire to be your child's role model, and yeah. you need to put positive goals in front of them that are obtainable for for your child, your son, or your daughter. I'm not saying no. But don't be their fucking friend. Yeah, yeah. no shit. Yeah, show show them what it, what what qualities that they need to have to be successful in life. It, like don't don't have your child growing up wanting to be fucking LeBron, Rihanna. <laughs> Whoever, somebody they don't Kanye. fucking know. <laughs> yeah, my Cyrus. You you want as your child to look up to you, to you, your your wife, whatever, your grandparents, somebody that's that they can see and they can see on a positive daily, person. a positive person that they can see on a day in day out basis. They Not see, Ike Turner. No. Oh, okay. No, someone that they can what see. The they go to work every day. They they have core values and something that you're that is just instilled in your child's makeup in your yeah, in your sure. DNA and on how they're going to be and how they're going to grow as a, as a kid and an adult. That's that's something that other people can't teach. Yeah. And that's something as you as a parent, you need to step up, take responsibility, read to your kid, make sure your kid's doing his homework. Uh, just simple, basic shit. Just be there for your kid and don't rely on TV and all these other forms of media to raise your child into parent. an adult. Yeah. Don't be a shitty. Yeah, put in work. <laughs> put, in a, put in effort. It's not that hard. And, and keep your eye on your kid because they don't need to be fucking dipping their toes in old fucking lakes getting eaten by alligators or falling into oh, fucking gorillas. Oh, <laughs> gorillas. Gorillas and shit. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's if, real uh, talk. If, if you raise your kids the way you want to raise them, they should end up being pretty cool and you want to hang out with them as kids. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So, there you go. No, yeah. appreciate it. Like, I had, my parents were, were kind of hard on me growing up, but I realized what the fuck, I didn't want to fucking read every day before I had to go out and go play street football or whatever, but I, I realized the benefit looking back on it now and I'm, I'm thankful. I'm, I'm thankful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful. I'm grateful for for what my parents put me through. Even though I hated it at the time, I hated getting in trouble for not staying out late. I hate ha- I hated having to do my homework all the time. I hated having to do this. But I mean, we're all sitting here. We're all highly successful in each of our own fields, and we're a lot better off than most people that made it. We at the time we thought had better childhoods, and yeah. they had more cooler toys, and they were doing this. They had more freedom. And you look at those people now, and it's like, what the fuck are they doing now? Yep. Yeah. But well, we see at the reunion. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. It's great. Let, let's switch. <laughs> Anything else, or should we switch a little bit? I think we should. Switch. Yeah, we switch. Yeah, yeah, let's switch it up. Uh, ooh, who's seen Voltron? Oh, I, I watched the first like had, six or seven of them. Yeah, I'm like five or seven. I binge watched that. I'm impressed. Oh, well, I'm impressed, but I miss when they form Voltron. Yeah, me too. They don't say the right shit. Oh, oh yeah, okay, that's true. Yeah. That's a fair point. That's they a fair point. Other than the, that, it's great. The, the that, shout. Awesome. I love the upgraded. I think the reason why they took that out to make it less cheesy. But Fuck it, that shit. It was yeah, awesome. It was great, man. They kind of 
alluded to it in the, in the first they episode. They allude to it. But they don't really, like, he thought, oh, I know how we can do this. I uh, have this and this and this. Oh, you're, the, you're the arm and I'm the head. And yeah. yeah. I'm going to form the head. Like, that was it. That was, like, the only time they did it. But I, I'm only four episodes in. Four or five. Uh, yeah, I, I think it was great. I think, uh, oh, has anybody finished it besides me? I haven't finished it, no. Damn it, because I want to talk about the end. It is just a good first. I'm not, I would never really grow up as a big Vol- Voltron. How dare you? Oh, yeah. Let me confess. You want me to sit here in silence and not say shit? <laughs> I confess. I did it for Game of Thrones. For, for, those, for those people that that make there for those other three people listening that are like me, <laughs> it, it's, it's new on what on Netflix. Netflix. On Netflix, Netflix. Netflix. it's a new DreamWorks uh, DreamWorks Voltron series. I guess it just got released. Yeah, or? yeah. 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 Released okay. A couple weeks ago. It seems like it's by the same people that did uh, Avatar: Korra. Yeah, it feels that way. Yeah. It does. Good. But but yeah. that was Nickelodeon, and this is DreamWorks. But it, it, the art looks similar. It looks similar. Even like the the way they talk, the jokes yeah. they have, yeah. the, the, like the, the facial expressions. The one guy makes me think of um, uh, that one guy's brother from the Water Tribe. Yeah, he yeah. Kind of has that Sokka. like the way. He, yeah, Sokka. He, he like tells jokes and stuff like that, and the way he stands and hitting on the chicks and stuff. Yeah. So like, I talked about it this last time. That red line is Steven Yoon. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and then it, oh. I don't know how far. I think if come on, episode the farthest, three. then you'll see Norman Reedus come up pretty quick. Yeah, so, I heard he's in there. Yeah, he's like he's a, in the, something like. He's something. in one episode, but it's you can obviously fucking tell it's him. It even fucking looks like him. It's, it's a, actually pretty funny. Oh, so is it the one with the with the sister? So, the one where they jacked him. They yeah, yeah, him. yeah, yeah. You, I mean, it looks like him. Sounds like him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's pretty fucking funny. Yeah, I'm enjoying the show so far. It, it's a great one, and I love the fact that it's a Netflix original. So yeah, yeah please check it out. I thought it was. Dope. I think the first time they formed Voltron was like I was set. I was like, oh shit, that was fucking actually pretty dope. All right, but it was funny. Like uh, they. They couldn't figure out how to form Voltron. Exactly. They just, how somehow stumped, stumbled into it, and then yeah, like that awkward. one scene where they're like standing on top of each other. I'm like, this is fucking awkward. It dude. was fucking Fuck. funny though. Well, I love the whole because I had forgotten about the fact that they are robot alien lions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they're like sent like thousands of years old. Yeah, yeah, with ancient advanced technology. It was just cool yeah. all the way around. They're like spaceships that fight. It's just yeah. Like in the original, like each lion was in a different like environment on Earth. One was in a volcano. One was yeah, in a volcano. yeah. Yeah. Like this, they're all like still close to each other, so but it the, made sense. But the intro, well, they're not all close. They were in different sure. planets. When the intro, no, they, they were no, no, no. When they when they actually like form together and they disperse into the lines, not when they go searching for them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. When they go, when they all like take off the little shuttles and stuff. And well, they, they show at the beginning though. They show like the red line come out of the lava. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what's interesting is that um, like going back looking at Voltron, it makes me think of uh of the Ronin warriors because the Ronin warriors they had their armors were different elements and it's very similar to to the lion like uh Ryo of Wildfire his his thing was firing his armor was in the was in the lava uh Kento his was in a rock uh there was another guy Stratus he was uh Ro- Rowan of the Stratus he was like in space uh there was one guy who was in water sage so it's like kind of the same like theme basically going on and I think that's the same with um with Sailor Moon too like the elements of the planets is yeah. kind of similar to that and, as well and Avatar the Last Airbender yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a running theme. Remember Battle Beast back in the day? Oh, I remember that. Okay. Battle yeah, yeah, Beast. Yeah. yeah. All right. Voltron's a good, it's a good one. I actually uh, enjoyed it. Really well. So, I powered through that shit. Go ahead. Kind of sticking to the animation universe. Um... Transformers is getting a new fucking series coming to. It's, I think it's coming on YouTube. Yeah, it's Machinima. Um, it's gonna it? be made by Machinima. Yeah, and um, it's gonna be fucking for adults. There's gonna be a lot of fucking killing and murder, and I guess there's gonna be cursing and like. Uh, hmm. It's gonna be called Transformers Combiner Wars, and they released kind of a trailer for it, and it looks like the animation's very similar to Borderlands. Mm-hmm. Like well, it's, it's, that it's cell so animation. Shady. Yeah, but it's the old school Transformers, so it doesn't look yes. like so, no Michael Bay bullshit. Yeah, yeah. can G1? I ask an no computer ignorant, graphics? An ignorant question that some of our listeners may have so when you say that it is um there's no fucking well okay is that what you mean by adult <laughs> no no I was, okay. I, I, cell shading is what you're no not the cell shading god damn it uh sorry uh, butt plugging no never Yo, killed his train of thought Come yeah fuck it go ahead horse. keep going keep going about transformers <laughs> fuck it but no so yeah they reached the trailer and it looks like they're bringing back a lot of the original voices um they have uh oh, what's it got jump in the machinima part so, oh, 
So yeah, Machinima is a, it's a YouTube channel, and they pretty much do like kind of animations. Like they have an animation called uh, Red versus Blue, and they use uh, the characters from Halo, Halo right? Yeah. But it, it, so do they? I thought for some of that they use the actual game footage to yes. make the stuff. They Red do use some of the, blue. They, yeah, do, they do. They do do that. But they're not doing it in this. No, this is, is completely okay. new animation. So does, I think Machinima also does the uh, Mortal Kombat series, Mortal Kombat mm-hmm. Legacy. Is that yeah, they Machinima do. Too? Yeah. Yes. So they do live action, but they cover a lot of gamer stuff too, and they do many like uh, fan based movies for games and comics and anime. It's actually a pretty cool channel. When does this drop? Um, I don't know when it, it drops. Um, I it was in August. Yeah, okay. I think it's this year. But uh, yeah, so far, I mean, the little scene they show was pretty good. Like um, they start off with Optimus Prime isn't the leader of the Autobots. Oh, oh, wow. Prime. Yeah, and uh, you should know, should be Jazz. God, <laughs> motherfucker. I know it should be That's Optimus. The black Transformers. <laughs> <y'all didn't> <laughs> I remember in the end of uh, of uh, okay, was it the, the Transformer movie? Ronimus Prime. Ronimus becomes the Prime, and he yeah, has the All Spark. Yeah, All Spark. Because Optimus is dead. Yeah. Yeah, but then he gets like, he's like he's a space he's like a race car in the in the sh- in the cartoons, and also when it gets the the All Spark and become he Prime, like, yeah, he, becomes he becomes like a, a fucking truck now. He becomes like a giant RC. Yeah, like, holy shit. It's yeah. fucking weird. It's actually pretty dope, though. I'm looking forward to this one. Though. Yeah, it should it be good. awesome. It should be Hopefully, it should be good. Well, staying with animation, what so you got? Prodigy, I'm going to tune in to your fucking show. Which tomorrow, one? Tomorrow. Which one? So, tomorrow airs the episode of Teen Titans Go crosses with Powerpuff Girls. Oh, yeah. Booyah, baby. So, I'm actually interested in watching booyah, that booyah, shit. Booyah. So, I'm going to see how that shit plans out. So Is anybody watching Power, uh, Powerpuff Girls? Not the new one. I, uh, I got to put it on my list because I'm actually a fan of the show. But they changed the voices. I kind of fucked it up. And yeah. the, the animation's slightly different. Not I, majorly different. But I caught that maybe like the last seven minutes of an episode and it was okay, but I couldn't really. It was yeah. too late an episode for me to judge for full and I never caught another one since. I yeah, just I, haven't, I, I I slipped my mind. I watched like three with my kids on like Saturday or something. What I really noticed was the songs because they tried to do some rapping. And some I stuff. saw that. The songs were terrible. Quality, yeah. Oh. Yeah. like they weren't catchy. Like the Teen Titans Go song, even for those who don't like the series, they have catchy ass songs. Yeah, sure they do. I love they the really fucking do. pyramid I'm scheme money. Ah, yeah. this is flipping us all. Yeah, I'm out. Make it money, that. the pyramid, pyramid scheme, scheme money. money. God, I bought a gold <laughs> boat. I bought a gold car. Fuck it. Yes. Oh, shit. I show. gotta go bomb the gold. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> ah. so the reason why I guess the Powerpuff Girls show up is that Mojo Jojo escapes to the city where the Teen Titans. Oh, are. Jump City. Yeah. So that starts with them uh, chasing. Is it an hour long special? We're looking at. No, nah, it's probably not. But it, 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 they're hype. They've been hyping it up for weeks, and I it airs wait. tomorrow. Tomorrow I, night. I think uh, Cartoon Network is hopefully uh, trying to get uh, some of the uh, Teen Titans Go fans to actually check out. You know, whoop. Uh, um, Girls. Uh, uh, Facebook's been doing. It. I mean, not Facebook. Uh, Cartoon Network's been doing a lot of crossovers with some of their shows. Like they had, uh, like Teen. No, no, uh, they had Steven Universe and um, Uncle Grandpa, which is a horrible fucking. Show. That shit sucks. They yeah. did a crossover with that. Um, they had back in the day. They had this like alien takeover where um, was it Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and like um, okay. some other shows like uh, Powerpuff Girls and some uh, like about these different shows. There was an alien attack, and somehow the shows got crossed over, which was fucking cool as hell. Yeah, it was like it. back in like the maybe early two thousands. Well, crossovers are fucking dope. I love I, them. I We're done the, right. I miss the commercials they had for like Cartoon Network, like where the yeah, Powerpuff the, Girls met the Justice League and. Yes, yeah, that they, was great. They, they're all talking about how they couldn't wait to grow up so they can be. They alluded to how they wanted Wonder Woman's body. Boops, yeah. yeah <laughs> fucking funny as hell. That's good shit. That's so, good shit. Yeah, yeah. So, Teen Titans Go versus Powerpuff Girls. That's the official title of the episode. It airs tomorrow night, I think at 8 on Cartoon Network. So, I plan on checking that shit out. I also got a feeling I'm not going to San Diego Comic Con this year. Wah, wah, wah. But I yeah, bet they're going to so. go hard there, you know? Oh, yeah. They went that way last year, too. So, yeah. All right. So I finally played uh, Overwatch. Oh, the yeah. way boost! <laughs> yes! <laughs> the game is uh, it's pretty dope. Yes! Yeah. Damn, I still haven't even opened much. Who are you using, Cross? Uh, I'm using mostly uh, Zenyatta. Uh, uh, the monk, uh, the monk, robotic monk? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty dope. Like, I heard that a lot of people don't like playing healers in the game, so I'm like, fuck it, I'll play a medic or supporter. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I still get a bunch of kills, so, you know. I'm oh, like, he, he's deadly. Yeah, yeah. But isn't there, I, I think this week on the, on the, I guess in the news, they were saying that uh, that they're gonna take out a character because he's like overpowered. 
No, they're gonna. Nerf, I thought they were gonna nerf, nerf him. Someone. They'll probably nerf him. What does that mean by nerfing him? Uh, like he's shutting him down. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Awesome. So they, they they already had to do a lot of adjustments. So like before with with Zenyatta, I guess if you were Black Widow or whatever, that's not her name. Black Widow. Uh, Widowmaker. Widowmaker. You you could one shot Zenyatta in the body. Yeah. I was just like, that don't make no fucking sense. <laughs> yeah. So they they changed that so now he'll survive more than more than one shot. So Widowma- Widowmaker is no fucking joke. Yeah. And she got a yeah. booty though. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played every character yet, but the first character I wanted to try was was Zenyatta. Uh, I like the way that he played. I like that you can um, make somebody weaker yes. and then heal other people and shit. And then like his his base damage is pretty good, and it's actually really easy to fucking headshot somebody. Oh yeah. For With some that. reason, like the yeah the the balls that you shoot out, the, like the the area that it hits is pretty big. So if it's anywhere near their head, it's a headshot. It's, oh cool. Dude, we got a squad up on that one. It's so much fun. The other healer that's really great is Mercy on there. Yeah. Well, she's uh, a revive. Folks, yeah, but she—I didn't know this until like maybe my eighth or ninth time playing. She can actually, she actually has a gun too. Oh but yeah. you have to actually yeah, switch, back and, switch forth. Thing back and forth. So I didn't like that. So Zen- Zenyatta is way better in terms of being able to. Well, he's attack. way more. He's like an attacking healer, right? Yeah. But so the thing that's cool about Mercy is that she can heal you with a beam, and so as soon as she hits you with the beam, she can be across the room. Yep. And then it can still heal you. And if you're in trouble, or if she's in trouble, what you can do is you can hit another button. It actually brings you closer to them. Yes. It's like a magnet effect. So that, that works really well. And then the other thing that she can do is increase the damage of your uh, your players, too. Yes, yes. She, she can switch back the, and forth. Yeah. So wait, and then ultimately you can revive people. So she's God, basically. Who, yeah, on exactly. the, who on the squad all has Overwatch? I got it. And he I got has it. it. Yeah. So just you two? I guess so. Well, and then me, it. I have it. So I still haven't opened it yet. Oh, so. you didn't open your PS4, did no, you, I, old I, I ran into some shit. You motherfucker. So How many weeks have you been lying to our listeners? It's, <laughs> it's been a month and a half, actually. But, so tomorrow, I'll, I'll squat up on it. You motherfucker! I, I don't believe you. All right. Any other thoughts on Overwatch, man? So far? No, it's, it's been uh, it's been really well. I guess like, Blizzard's really good at uh, making things like level. You know what I mean? Like balance. Like the, the whole thing is balanced. So like every character has like obvious, like really good perks, but then like kind of obvious or kind of maybe a little bit more subtle like weaknesses. So it's like like the way they have all the characters in the game, like they each kind of work off of each other. So like some characters are like. Super weak to other characters, but mm-hmm. super strong against others. So you have to have a totally different strategy the way you play your game. And if you don't play as a fucking squad, <laughs> then you're kind of fucked. Like they, you can't do it. Like there's no one person that can just go through and run through a whole squad easily. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. it, with the except, with, especially without an ultimate. Yeah. Like it's really hard. Like you have to, you have to work, it, work in conjunction. Like a, a good example would be um, what's that that pig's name? The fat guy? Oh, Roadhog. Yeah, Roadhog is like super powerful in that game because there's these, these ridiculous shotguns and it's fucking ultimate. It basically turns your shotgun like a machine shotgun. Yep. And it just fucks up everything, oh, but shit. the downside of it is, once you hit somebody, they get thrown back. Mm-hmm. Right? So, you have to basically have somebody else with you like against, like, to hit them, right? Because, w- obviously, with a shotgun, the closer they are, the more damage they do. Yep. So, for him, he hits them back, and he's, he's doing damage constantly, but it's, like, further back damage. Yeah, okay, so, yeah. you have to work in conjunction with your group to, like, as they're getting pushed back, to move Damn, forward. Because yeah. yeah, as he's doing the shotgun, the, the machine shotgun, he's, he moves slower, too. Yep. So, it's all these things that are about balance. So, because, obviously, if he can move his normal speed, and there's no pushback, you're just fucking and run through everybody. Yep. Yeah, you know. Well, and he has that hook too that he can throw. Yeah, hook and, is fucking yeah. Dead. God he, damn. He's a badass character. Yeah. Uh, my favorite, uh, the non waifu ones, uh, Bastion, who's like the robot. Yeah, he fucks a lot of people up. He has a turret on him, like with unlimited ammo. The only thing is, they don't let him uh, be mobile when he's in the turret mode, which is a good thing. Well, he can move a little bit. Uh, uh, I saw him with the tank treads. Oh, okay, that's for his special. Oh, okay, uh, but for his just his normal turret, you, can, you he's stationary. But man, right. I mean, it's just so good, man. I love everything about it. And Widowmaker's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. I played as a diva once. Oh my god! But yes, I was diva like, Whoa. buddy. Yeah. Her, so she has ridiculous durability in that that, that mech, basically. Yeah, and, and she has infinite ammo. Yeah. Like she never has to reload. And she has these twin yeah. shotguns and shit. She's awesome. I fuck people up with her. Yeah. She's great. Well, that's another thing that's about balance. So like, she she has a lot of damage, or she could do a lot of damage, but it's their, their shotgun. So mm-hmm. if you're far away, it's not as much damage. Oh yeah. And she can absorb a lot of damage, but she's big as fuck, so it's really easy to put damage on her in general. She's slow. Yeah. 
yeah, target. Yeah, like hitting her in the head is super easy because like the head's fucking like everything about her is big. Yep. So she can also self destruct her suit as she ejects from it, which yeah, is yeah. interesting. And if you can surround it. it. Yeah. yeah. But then she's super vulnerable outside of her suit. But you can get it back though. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You can generate, but it, it takes. It's a it's a great game. We just got to squad up. We really do. Yeah. It's fucking. Perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna open up because uh, I'm gonna. Be you late. ain't doing shit. You I'm gonna be late by unboxing <laughs> shit. Once you open it up, I'll buy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better go buy it tomorrow. Then. Holy shit. Uh, you still fucking with Doom or not? Nah? Uh, not right now, no. I have limited time to, to do stuff. I so. got you. Oh, yeah, right. I got the little one here. Well, yeah, that. She had so little of it. She's. And I'm packing, so. Yeah. She's a teenager now. My niece has turned 18. I still call her a little one. She's younger than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking there you go. Uh, let, real quick, let's switch gears. Kyrie Irving, uh, in, the recent NBA champion, oh. uh, the fuck had is this a about? yacht party. Uh, to was stuff- it his party or someone else? That some, was he there and someone else hosted? Well, it, 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 it's irrelevant to the story. I'm pretty sure it was his party. Yeah, though. probably right. his. So, stupid ass motherfuckers online got all in their feelings because as they see pictures and or videos from his yacht party after celebrating the fact that he won an NBA championship, they saw mostly white girls on the boat and assumed, and you know what happens when you assume, mm. that it was a no black girls allowed yacht party and people started coming at him with all kinds of bullshit ass fucking hate damn then he squashed it by responding and posting a picture of a black girl on the fucking boat so people are fucking idiots is the moral of this fucking story you know I think uh, so I don't know if you guys watch that show Ballers it's on HBO love that show yeah so it sounds almost you just basically described like the third episode of the fucking show (laughs) they had a fucking yacht party with all these NFL players instead of NBA and there's all these like Hispanic and like white chicks on there and a couple black chicks show up but then like pictures get out about the party and people get up all up in their fields pretty much groupies yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know why somebody would assume that the way I read it like when I first saw it it said that the guy had a party and there was literally no black chicks allowed and I was like that sounds fucking weird that doesn't even make sense and then afterwards it came out that it was nothing like that I don't, people just assume like why the fuck would you even assume that yeah it was just it, people yeah, just are it's, dumb it's, it's not your fucking party anyway no you, shit. Yeah. you weren't fucking invited yeah fucking Come on now, man. That's why they were hating, because I, I want to go. Yeah. I would have told them, shh, you're going to wake up the other bitches. Ah. <laughs> Pull some fucking black dynamite. Yes. Yeah, yeah so. That, 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 that was crab mentality right there. They were just trying to pull the crab <laughs> mentality. Yeah. I want to be the top hoe. Yeah. 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 Stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> fucking motherfuckers. All right. So Are we ca- switching gears? Or well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in here real quick. So, um, we were talking about VR stuff earlier, and uh, yesterday, Altspace, uh, we had a chance to interview them uh, back at SVVR, but mm-hmm. we had technical issues, but um, I actually joined a party last night uh, in Altspace, and they had the creators of uh, Rick and Morty on there. Oh, yeah. And oh my god, dude, this guy was so fucking funny, because the I guess the creator does the voice of both Rick and Morty, Yep. and it was so funny, because like, there's a people come back from doing impressions and stuff like that, so in this virtual world, he walked around in his character describing everything as Rick and Morty, and the way he described shit was just so fucking... So, okay, first let me set this up. So, it was supposed to be like there's inside this virtual world is uh he should he was supposed to be able to draw like actually draw like and show people like his artwork yeah but that part of the of the system wasn't working <laughs> so when he, when he did the impressions of rick and morty like <laughs> as fucking as morty he was saying like hey like hey rick how come how come this this artwork isn't working are we, oh, aren't we here for shit. that and rick was like morty man just you got to give the people time to figure this shit out <laughs> like i'm pretty sure there's somebody in the background getting shit together and morty and like uh morty was like hey but it, it should be working, Rick. It should be working. And then Rick started fucking cho- choking Morty oh, to get him fuck. to fucking calm down and shit. Dude, it was so fucking funny. And then as they were like walking around the virtual world, like, the, like there was a waterfall, and they're like, he, and Morty was like, oh, oh my god, Rick, there's there's a waterfall here. It's it's so pretty and, and serene. And he's like, Morty, why don't you just shut the fuck? Like he was cursing <laughs> and stuff too. Dude, it was so fucking funny. And I tried recording it, but like I didn't. I, this is my first time using my my screen capture on my on my computer, so I didn't record the audio. They only recorded the video, and it wouldn't make any sense because he wasn't. It wasn't a. His avatar wasn't him. He was like a flying fucking robot, basically. And Aww. dude, it was so fucking funny, and it was so great. But yeah, the whole alt space, them having like like celebrities coming on there and doing like impressions stuff like that. Dude, it's so funny. That's so. Awesome. I got a solution for this sort of. Um, you can actually use uh, XSplit. 
and then I, I can show you how to how to do it for uh, for like VR. So yeah, I mean, you, you actually do it. You can actually do a live stream, and then the live stream is obviously recorded, so you can just use that. Yeah, yeah you, I gotta you, get that from you. And you can use if you want. You can use your own account or the BTN BTI account. So oh, cool. Because because in XSplit you can put in multiple accounts on like multiple stream things. Mm-hmm. So you can put in yours because mine's in there for Cronus does. So yeah, but it was dude. It was so fucking cool. Like it was like I tried joining a party before, but this one like it was like legit. It was so funny him doing the characters. And then once the the drawing software did come up, so he actually could draw. He drew it. it was he didn't call it Donald Trump. It was like Donald, Donald Stump. Okay. And he basically showed like Donald Trump like sucking his own dick <laughs> like that. Oh, in his first damn. But what was also cool was that uh like he talked. I guess in the Rick and Morty. I guess there's a scene in Rick and Morty where where Rick is naked and somebody had asked him like how come you know it on the Blu-ray they they still pixel at, at how come they still pixel out Rick's dick and he's like um I don't know why but underneath that pixelation it's a real fucking dick yeah <laughs> like, they, they actually did draw it but yeah it was yeah, it was yeah. really funny it was cool interacting with the like I had asked them um you know Rick is an alcoholic on the show like you know do you what's your drink of choice and he was like you know I'm I'm down with that Jack Daniels and Coke so, nice JD it was it was fucking cool man it was definitely very cool good shit all right uh getting into anything else i haven't read black panther so i'm, I'm behind on my fucking comics and I, I think chronos has not either right no not a chance to read anything this week yet i just picked up today yeah yeah i have like all the number ones of all the rebirth i think now yeah I, uh, I, except for that one wonder woman like i have that one i'll, the, I'll give it to you the one well i have one of them but i don't know what oh, i the, think the, yeah, that so i have the shit. rebirth versus dc rebirth one or whatever so i have one of them i don't know the other one i bought the two superman ones though issue zero versus issue one yeah <laughs> Oh no! Issue one versus issue one. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. And I oh, and I, I don't have the I don't have Action Comics number one or it's not even number one. It's Action Comics Rebirth with the the new Lex Luthor on the on the cover, and then uh, I don't have um, Detective Comics. Yeah, those are the only two I don't have. I was over in uh, Cape and Cowell in uh, downtown Oakland literally just today, and I saw someone picking up the trade for Saga, and I was like, uh, you know, it, it's a great story. I'm glad you're you're picking it up, picking it up. Have you heard about East of West though? And he was like, No. I was like, Fan. <laughs> Dude, I had that full buy in like two or three trades right nice. then and there, That's telling awesome. them about it. I was Making like, sales and shit. Yeah, I was like, you welcome. Better get that commission from Eton. <laughs> <laughs> right. That was cool. So check it out. I've been, uh, I've read the, the recent epi- issue of um, Injustice Gods Among Us, and there's a little bit of a shift in power, and it's a very important fucking person who can change the whole fucking game. God damn it, I gotta and read. This, they five. can change the, the entire game of this fucking universe. I gotta catch back up. Fucking man. great, dude. Yeah. Shit, I gotta. Yeah, I got a lot of reading yeah. to do. All right, uh, let's uh, round table it on up. Uh, Stitch, what you into? Recommending? Uh, let me see. I uh, picked up the. I was rereading the Miles Morales uh, Spider Man. Number two, right? Number two. Um, I, I, I love that whole series. Um, yeah, book two deals with Venom. And uh, I, I just love how they draw him and his whole actions in it. I was talking with Blue on the way uh, over here, and it reminds me sort oh, of. Before like, the cast. Yeah, on the before the cast. <laughs> it sort of reminds me of uh, Carnage. Just yeah. in terms of he's just pure fucking just chaos and evil and shit, and it, it, it's it's really really good. Um, so I, I plan on reading that and then passing it along to the rest of the group so everyone else can check it out that hasn't uh, read it. Um, I plan Brian Michael Bendis, I think, for that book. I got it for which book? Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Brian oh, okay. Bendis, I think. Yeah, it's like in my bag, but I can't remember exactly who's uh, who who, does, who put it out. Um, other than that, uh, just glad to be back on the cast. Was doing a lot of stuff with work, and then. I had uh, friends visit from out of town and, and all kinds of stuff. A um, bunch of running around the city. Um, I got my kegerator <laughs> online and everything, so I'm excited about that. I need Kronos to come by and uh, look it over and, uh, I guess, spot check. Do a, make sure that uh, shit don't and, blow up. You do an inspection on it to make sure I, I'm not <laughs> missing something that could set my just put a hole in my fucking kitchen or some shit. <laughs> but other than that, uh, that, that's about it that I can think of off the top of my head. Yeah. All right. Blue, what you got? Oh man! So I'm 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 reading uh, fucking um, Loser Trope. I borrowed it from uh, Cronus last week. I'm oh, you, to... you know it's free right now, right? The whole series is free. The fuck? Serious? The fuck? Yeah, you can actually find it online. Um, give me keep talking and I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, so I'm I'm catching up on that. Um, I'm also reading uh, Spider-Man Deadpool. Um, yes. I read the first one. It was a little bit confusing for some reason, but I'm I'm not sure Stick why. Stick with it. It was yeah, it was confusing. I understand what was going on, but you know I'm gonna keep reading and see how things go um 
this Saturday I'm doing a a, a wine tour in Livermore God on a tour. Damn, on a trolley. Coming. Hell yeah, coming boy. to my city. Especially a fucking. Well, I was there <laughs> recently <laughs> for a beer fest, and yeah, I got hell fucking drunk. But yeah, the, I'm going to hang out with some friends for a, a birthday party. Um, I'm gonna have a catch up on Voltron. Oh <clears throat> man, I stumbled across this new. I mean, it's not. It's a new anime to me, but uh, Which one? Prodigy have watched it before. Fucking Prison School. Oh, Prison School is live. God damn, and I found it uncensored. Oh my god, the titties on that one girl, uh, the the sec, uh, the warden kind of chick. Oh yeah, man. man. So the reason why <laughs> the reason why I looked this up because uh, Prodigy had posted up this gif of this guy and this girl kissing, but the guy like like I'm not sure who tongue was going into who. Oh yeah, and he like grabbed the back of her head and like I was like, is he killing her and shit like that? Because they they look like they were French kissing. But I I look back in the story and oh my god, dude, this shit that goes fucking down. Fucking bleeding. That shit was hilarious. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah, cause apparently she had an orgasm. Yes. So that's what fucking <laughs> happened. But the reason why they were in that situation was because she she wait he saw her peeing outside and she got mad about that but then like there's another scene where he he goes to the bathroom and he has to piss like really badly and he just kicks open the door and just starts fucking pissing and she's sitting there so he pisses on her oh and yeah. then there's another scene where Hold she tries on. that was R. Kelly though ah. yeah really. there's another part where he she tries to get back at him but some girl like the guys in the in the infirmary or the nurse's office and she try he tries she tries to get back at him and she's gonna like fucking piss him or some shit but some ch- somebody comes in, and so they end up hiding underneath the bed, and I guess they're both bottomless, and do start popping a boner, and they, like, start slowly, like, rubbing against her, and she, like, passes out, because I guess she has, like, another mm-hmm. orgasm for it. That's sh- the- the- I haven't seen the full episode, but it's so fucking funny, and it's so much fan service, dude. It's nothing but, like, under penny, under... It's, penny it- shots. There's penny shots, there's tits, there's, like, <laughs> sexual scenes, there's there's a chick, like, she, she fucking... She teabags a guy, a girl teabags a guy, and takes a whip and just starts whipping him the fucking dick, dude. It's like, this shit's fucking fun. crazy. It's, it's fucking hilarious so far. The, the parts I saw, it's fucking great. They oh, also wow. explain the historical awesomeness of asses versus tits and why asses are better than tits from an anthropological perspective. That makes nice. sense. I swear to God. All right. Cross, so, let's get in here. Justin Jordan, the f- he, so Luther Short is free right now. Uh, the link will be in the description because it's kind of long. I don't know if it'll work with just this. It's LutherStrode.Keen's spot.com okay and there's like a d and some numbers after it so if you go to lutherstrode.keenspot.com keenspot is spelled k e e n s p o t.com um you, you, you find it there all have the link in the description so and it's a whole thing the whole series uh it's either it's, it's either the whole series or the, the whole first trade okay that's so good either one of them is fucking free so yeah what you uh, recommending or fucking with this week? Uh, I'll use my time this week to do our outro for our sponsor. So, mm-hmm. Lucrate, we're going to have it, uh, our sponsors at the beginning and the end of the podcast. So, that's cool. the way it's going to be. So, uh, once again, this podcast is brought to you by Loot Crate. Uh, Loot Crate is basically a Comic-Con in a box. You get a free shirt, a bunch of other free stuff, free nerdy stuff. It's great. Uh, stuff uh, varies from month to month. Like different themes. Yeah, different themes, stuff like that. Um, I'm not wearing a shirt from them today, but I, I wear them on the podcast all the time, shirts from, shirts from them, and I get their stuff all the time. And a lot of time they have exclusive stuff, too, like the pop vinyls, yes. the t-shirts, a lot. <laughs> they do. That is that is a good point, Blue. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and so if you guys want to do us a huge favor, um, go to trylootcrate.com forward slash be then BTI. Give us credit for uh, subscribing if you choose to subscribe. And enter the promo code of BRIDGE10. That is bridge as in like something you walk over, 10, the number 10, for a 10% savings on your uh, subscription. Wonderful. All right. Well, Old Ninja, what you got? Uh, so I have a bunch of the Rebirth comics, the issue number one. So I'm going to try to read a couple of them for once. Fuck. And then um, I'm going to be squatting up on fucking Overwatch despite what Prodigy's fucking. After you fucking shit. open the goddamn box, I'll motherfucker. It, shut your bitch ass up. And uh, I'll probably be, I'll be squatting up on that at least tomorrow night. And then uh, probably going out again. Because I've been going out a fucking lot ever since I graduated. So uh, actually, it's been me and Stitch. Me and Stitch on the weekend's been like going to a bunch of spots around yeah, the bay. Hitting up bars. Yeah, 
all over the Wait, place. Wait, you're drinking now all of a sudden? Uh, not heavily. So how the hell did you start drinking and I stopped drinking? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 this is Earth 2. Yeah, We're on Earth, Earth 2. two. <laughs> yeah, There's then, gotta be a balance yeah, in the force. Yeah, there's gotta be a balance. <laughs> one, or either that or one of us stepped through a portal. Uh, <laughs> yeah, other than that, uh, I'll probably be uh, watching, uh, what's your name, India Summer some more. She what oh, she there do. you go, there yeah. you go. Oh, uh, my recommendation for this week, again, is Voltron. Good tip. It's a uh, it's really quick watch. It's only half. The first episode's an hour. Every subsequent episode is only half an hour. So all the episodes are on Netflix, so it's easy to go through. It's pretty much all ages. Everybody loves it. Yeah, it's a good show. Uh, real quick, for me, um, I am recommending everyone still go back and watch uh, all of season one of uh, Winona Earp. I got the shirt on right now. <laughs> um, they're trying to go for season two. Sci-Fi Channel has not uh, confirmed it quite yet, but you definitely need need to support. We obviously had uh, two of the stars on about a month ago and uh, both uh, Shamir Anderson and Dominique Provost Chocley. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. I think I did. Yeah. Yeah. Good enough. Um, and then obviously fuck with more Overwatch <laughs> waifus. God damn. That game was made for them girls. Mm-hmm. All right. We got our outro music pumping. That's, the, that's the wrong one. That is the wrong the one. What happened? What happened? Shake here? it. Shake uh, it like but a I do plan on doing picture. some more. Uh, at least with Overwatch, I guess you don't have to unlock anybody. Everyone's available. Yeah, everybody's available start. at launch. Yeah, so you need, should be. You still need to be fucking with Uncharted Four too. That multiplayer is yeah. great. I'm gonna oh, try yeah. to get Orange Is the New Black done by uh, next week. Wow, dang! Too. I haven't yeah. even started any of that. Actually, I'm gonna try to start watching House of oh, Cards. So. Yeah. So hopefully, I'll be able to report on that. You'll love it. It's really good. And read that Black Panther number three drop today. So. Actually, I need to watch uh, or read fucking Ready Player One. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. I need to start reading that shit. All I'm right, late. y'all. Hit uh, hit us up on iTunes at Be the BT for Twitter and on Facebook all of that good stuff go to binheadproductions.com to check out our what our podcast stop talking real quick what the fuck happened here time to finish no it was like shit in the background still playing that's the background, awesome. the background yeah, that's music. fucking weird yeah. oh damn remix I will try to do that Kanye <laughs> shit Sorry. damn I fuck, I'm a bad DJ today <laughs> all good oh, here we go this should be the right one now you can keep bullshitting <laughs> Here we go. Remix. Hit us up on iTunes. Thank you very much to the Super Suit Show uh, for coming on with us. And uh, please check them out on uh, Twitter and SoundCloud and iTunes and all that too. Joffrey Baratheon, first of his name. Oh, <laughs> fuck that. Damn. Damn. Hey, don't forget about us on uh, our website, benhabproductions.com forward slash be them BTI. Check out our other podcasts as well. Cronus does. Shout out to our guests. Yes, we, we did just that. did. You just fucked up our shit. <laughs> but, Shout out to. <laughs> Shout out to all of our uh Podcasts that are all under the Benhead Productions, I guess, hat. It's uh, us, Earth Girls Are Easy, they're fucking awesome. Cronus does, that's me. And then Better Than MJ or Kobe Period, which is a great basketball podcast with Prodigy and Stitch, which y'all need to do another one because yes. it's been a while. Now, yeah. He's back. The, from the his finals game. are done and you guys had no podcast. We are doing it. We'll do it. Yeah. Right. We need to get, get Prodigy with a jo- Jordan Crying meme for them. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Basketball's a sore spot for me. Yeah. <laughs> also, definitely check out the before and after the cast. Uh, with it's usually your boy Blue here, and it's either it's, it'll be a calf mate that will be on there. Yeah, yeah there you go. O Ninja yeah. or uh, Stitch. Yeah, right. that's on the future. Should right. just rename it to the the Blue Show. Right. <laughs> cool.